All right, everybody. This is your boy Luther coming to you from episode 15 of the Nerd Outlet podcast. Joining me is Greg. What's up, nerds? Nathan. Yo, what up, what up, what up? And Gabe, you, uh, Yo, up, you got bro? a little piece of tech on your phone you want me to uh, okay. talk about real quick. Go yeah, it's a, so uh, hold on. Luther has no idea what this looks like. No, no. I, what, what are you trying to accomplish here? Okay, Gabe? so what I'm going to say is I'm going to read the name of this product to you. Okay. And, I, wa- describe it. and I want you to describe to me in detail what the shape and what this pro- product does. Okay. Okay. It's called a King Cock Deluxe Hot Seat. The King, King, King Cock, Cock. Okay. Deluxe Hot Seat. Okay, so I'm what assuming, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming this is a uh, something you're sitting on, right? Yeah. Hold yeah. On. Let's let me let's ask one thing. <laughs> what color is it? The whole thing. It's one color. I'll give you that. King cock. King cock. Uh, I'm going with a purple color. No. Close. Wrong. Close. Uh, am I? Is it darker or lighter? It's brown. You think Mandingo? No. Kinda. Oh, so it's <laughs> black. Yes. Yeah. Like like jet black or yeah. like an off black jet no, black jet, okay. black jet black <laughs> it's, it's it's black <laughs> okay so you sit on this thing right mm-hmm. does it uh does it do any spinny motions or it can it's it, got that helicopter it looks like it can <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's got handles it got <laughs> handles <laughs> what do you so this is like a this is like a full on like amusement ride here <laughs> yeah pretty basically cool. you're yeah. in the hot seat that it's <laughs> 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 So okay, so it's black probably. Uh, you said it has spinning action. You sit on it. Mm-hmm. Probably uh, also has heating and cooling options. Uh, <coughs> does it? I'm assuming. Um, it does. How much is it? Oh, dude, it's a whopping hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. Okay. Um, probably no, it for, for, for hundred dollars. It, it probably doesn't have ejaculating features. No, but, yeah, but yeah, what, that's what, what it does have is three realistic sleeves for life like look and feel can you um hook this up to like your vr so you can watch some of that sweet old oh, vr I'm, porn uh, yeah i'm sure you can i said i'm sure you can okay 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 Dude, would you say this is a uh, machine operated like it has a motor in it i mean you said it has handles i'm assuming see first off i assumed it had like a motor in it yeah but no, I go, wouldn't go be surprised if this saying? was like old school and this shit is like you're cranking it oh this yeah. is this is practically <laughs> brand new Oh, I mean, then, yeah, I got this it. Has one, a motor. This is one of the new hot selling products on uh, AdamandEve.com. Adam hey, so. we are not sponsored by Adam and Eve. No, I'm so we're not going to be getting that, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, sponsored by this, that, and the other. Hey. hey. What a local, uh, local sex shop. So, <laughs> shout out to Starship. <laughs> it's black, probably uh, has a lot of girth and heft to it. Oh, yeah. Very um, girthy. You sit on it, from what I'm assuming, it has handles, so it probably has a thrusting motion, definitely has a vibrating feature, probably, uh, I don't, I don't know, bro. You're like, actually pretty I, close. I, I feel right. like, I feel like I already know what this looks like, though. <laughs> All right, let me uh, pass it around for you guys. Oh, fantastic. It looks like a, looks like a pot. Like <laughs> oh, a bro, I've seen this on YouTube before. It looks like a kettle with a little... <laughs> Well, is it a how-to I mean, not video? little. It's called the King. Not a how-to so. video. I saw it on a uh, shout out my boys over at uh, Machinima ETC. But no, yeah, I saw that on ETC's uh, uh, Tech Tuesdays. Interesting. Interesting. Is that something you would purchase for your uh, your use? Uh, for my use, no, no, no. no okay, so, yeah. No, not for not. For but it looks use. like um, it looks like a weird mixture of a dildo and a sock and bopper. I'm not That's gonna lie, the- yeah, it's inflated, so yeah. it's probably pretty comfortable to sit on. It's got. <laughs> Got a lot of resistance. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so you can go pretty hard with it. But um, to everybody listening, this episode is going to be a special one. We're going to be talking about the highlights of 2016, and maybe a little bit of lows. Yeah, a little, a little bit of lows. Uh, I got some things. I'm quite gr- a gorilla that is dead now. Yo, we'll come back to him. Talking about Harambe, right? Shout out the prince. So I saw the uh, War for the Planet of the Apes. Dude, that trailer looks so fucking. Yeah. Trailer looks good. fucking awesome, right? Oh my goodness! But I'm sitting there watching the trailer because I ha- I saw the uh the second movie when it came out like in 2014. Yeah, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, I thought like the human population was like demolished. I like, was thinking the same. The, thing. Yeah, like how they're so mili- militarized. Well, so I watched people. I bet. No, no, no. Think about well, it. The last people who would probably be surviving this. No, year. no, they are the last. No, but it's still like I watched the second movie and I'm watching the second movie and it goes through. And I'm like. This still doesn't under this still doesn't explain how these guys were like walking around with like M16s like decked out with body armor. I was like, the people in this movie aren't even decked out. 
But as the movie en- second movie ends, um, one of the guy like when they're pretty much like they've already come to the conclusion that there's there's gonna be a fight between the apes and the humans. One of the things that drives that conclusion is the humans already contacted the military from up north. Uh, yeah, so that's I've what watched, I've seen that movie. That's why, yeah, that's why I'm, I, I was so, when I happened, I was like, oh, okay, this whole movie makes sense now. Uh, but um, I like that uh, that boy sees just handling fully automatic weapons now, and not just like bows and arrows and like sticks and shit. Bro, I, I totally forgot these dudes because I, I saw it in the War for the Planet of the Apes movie when they're riding horses, Dope. and I was like, bro. They ride horses in the second movie. Yeah, these motherfuckers ride horses. They even ride horses into battle. <laughs> you guys are insane, bro. Yo, shout out to my boy apes. I hope though. I mean, wait until they put them in jets. Dude, that's <laughs> gonna, that's the next movie. Yeah. You know what I don't understand though is from what I know of the original Planet of the Apes movies. Don't the humans lose? I've never seen the original one, so I, I wouldn't know. Because, see, I can't remember. I can't remember. I mean, the original one, it's like the entire world. Yeah, the is, whole world is owned like, by apes. Yeah, run by apes. The, like, like, the, like a guy crashes the on the planet. One. Yeah, right. This is a prequel, basically. This is a pre- this is this is telling you like what ha- how they lost them. Oh, uh, okay. But another thing, too, that I can't also remember, I can't remember if it's actually the apes lose and they move to Mars and they establish something on Mars. Oh, this could be a what? different story, though. I can't remember. Mars? This could be a reboot to where like the old ones don't even exist. No, I mean, I mean the old ones. The old ones still exist because I want to say C- Caesar is Caesar is the one who establishes like the Planet of the Apes. Well, at least I know that from the uh, Marky Mark one in like two thousand one. Yeah, right. yeah. Who made that? Like, um, I uh, what's his name? Huh? Was Tim, it Burton? Peter Tim Burton. Know. Yeah, it was uh, Tim Burton. Burton right? Did he yeah. really? Yeah. 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 Dang. Yeah. I'm surprised. Fucking. What's so, name? but see, I can't remember if it's, if it's either the apes are on Mars or the humans lose and they retreat to Mars, and that's Tim Burton. Yeah. And then um they, Depp. that guy crash lands on the planet that he doesn't know what planet it is, but then he eventually finds out that it's Earth, or if it's the opposite way around where he crash lands on a planet doesn't know what planet it is and it turns out to be Mars and it's ruled by apes. I can't remember though. But I just I'm just so confused though. Yeah. Like after seeing that trailer when they're like the humans are decked out, I'm like, bro, how you like I, I understand these monkeys lose, are like stronger, but they're not as decked out as you guys. Like you guys should be mowing these bros, these dudes down. Yeah, because in the trailer, what they got tanks and shit. Yeah, dude, they got tanks. You think a monkey can handle a tank? No. Nah, probably not. Nah, dude. In the second movie that he does though, like a tank comes rolling in. But I mean, like a whole bunch of them get mowed down. The I'm dude a, hops on the thing, yeah. kills the gunner, but then like it shoots off around, so he notices that there's still somebody in there. He goes in there, and kills the guy in there, and then he controls it and rams it in through a gate. I remember in the first movie, uh, the gorilla takes out a helicopter, which is pretty. Bro, bad. that was pretty. That was that pretty. Was, uh, pretty that, that was too. like a, that was like a foreshadowing to Harambe getting shot. Uh, oh yeah, straight up. Uh, That's what I was saying. Bringing it back. No, absolutely. I was like, I feel like some prolific ape is going to die soon, yeah. and then. <laughs> <laughs> it happened, man. It happened. Yeah. Prophetic. Well, was there any news of Harambe prior to the incident that took his life? What do you What do you mean? <laughs> like, you like mean? he started to gain like <laughs> he like, destroyed a couple like, helicopters. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, like what was Harambe's life prior to like him dying? I mean, probably shit, a normal girl sitting in the corner in his zoo life. Yeah, like dude, I just want to know, like washing himself, <laughs> eating bananas and scratching his balls. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. Slamming against the glass, scaring yeah. little children. I yeah, do pretty I much. Love those videos. That's what I do. <laughs> what else would he do? Oh, and they also fling their shit too. So oh, yeah, I thought definitely. it was just chimpanzees. I think it was all apes fling their shit. Oh, dude. I mean, I mean yeah. They wash their hands, right? No. You ever? I mean, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh, nah. <laughs> uh, dude. Nah. But still, uh, still, sweet prince. Rest in peace, man. Uh, R.I.P. Harambe. But uh, that's it with uh the Planet of the Apes predictions. <laughs> Let's let's go on to uh No, so what it was uh, qu- going back to what is your prediction that they lose or win? The humans? Yeah. Well, the Bro, apes. I mean the apes, I'm assuming they but see if if this is just a trilogy and it ends after the next movie, I'm assuming they lose but they all don't get wiped out and then there's like some little hint where they're like, "Hey, these guys might become a threat again in the future." Mm-hmm. Or I, I mean I just don't understand how they'd be able to wipe cuz like the movie will still take place in San Francisco, and all three movies are taking place in San Francisco. But if they wipe out all the humans in San Francisco, or whatever is left of the humans in San Francisco, there's still people around the world. Well, I mean, 
from what was the second one we said it was like a virus that was taking the people out. Yeah, the simian flu. Yeah, yes. the weak people. Yeah. That well, happened at the end of the first one. The weak. Yeah. Yeah. It showed the airport scene where it started like one person touched one person and then yeah. like you like saw the virus. Yeah, like, yeah. They showed it to you like in the movie and you just saw it spreading and it's, you're like No, yeah, everybody who's it, it basically tells you by the end of the movie, fuck. Yeah. Most of the people are going to go extinct because of this virus. No, yeah. Anybody who's left, though, in Planet of the Apes 2, they tell you that they don't have to worry about the simian flu anymore. They're, all those people are the people who are immune. immune. Dude, I gotta yeah. watch yeah. this movie again. So it's now so it's, long. yeah, it's gotten to the point to where everybody's dead from the virus, and everybody who's surviving is going to survive, mm-hmm. unless Caesar and the rest of the apes kill them. Oh, and just a heads up make sure you mess with the subtitle settings because I'm, I hate uh, subtitles, I me, and, I I, and I mess with it, and I accidentally turned them all off. So the movie's starting and they're like signing. And I'm like, is there supposed to be subtitles for this, or is this supposed to bring up like dramatic tension? And I'm just supposed to assume <laughs> what these monkeys are saying. But then I eventually mess with the subtitle sentence again, and, and like they came up, and I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Yeah, Every torrent I've downloaded from that movie has no subtitle. But hey, I will me. say though that um, you mean uh. Every, oh, every way. movie I've digitally purchased. Yeah, digitally has purchased. That's no, no subtitle. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Bleep, bleep that out. <laughs> but I will say, though, I didn't know this, though, that uh, Rise of the Planet. I mean, no, this is. Wars is War. This titles is are way too confusing. It's, no, it, yeah. No, it's, dude, no war, joke, man. It'll war, cool for, war for the Planet. War for the Planet of the Apes. It's just it like, is the new one. Uh, it's a mouthful. I, Rise is the, the first, first one, one. And then Dawn is the one that I just. That I'm talking about now. Yeah. I will second. say it has a. Uh, Bear scene that rivals Revenant's bear scene. Okay, rivals. Does it have, or is it, it just good? Does it have a bear scene? Is it's like, oh, this is a cool bear scene, bro. Because oh, Revenant, yeah, yeah, bro. Rev- yeah. Revenant's bear scene is like. All right, I want to know like everybody's literally top five bear insane. scenes. Top five bear scenes. Uh, the, the one from you brother, know what? I was from brother they, bear. They literally started talking about who your favorite bear was in uh, video games on a uh, Beyond. Mine's Sweet. Baloo from the Jungle <laughs> Book. Baloo, shout out. I like the bear from The Witcher. Uh, yeah, um, that's a good bear. That's a pretty legit bear. Yeah. Uh, Brown bear. Yeah, yeah Baloo, Baloo from, sure. from Jungle Book was insane. Dude, legit. all Jungle Book in general. I mean, we might as well just jump into movies of uh, 2016. Yeah, I don't Book. care about Jungle Book tech. was I'm gonna be honest. All awesome. Yeah. Just, just shout out to the iPhone out. 7. Yeah. Oh, you mean iPhone 7, VR. Switch announced, PS4 Pro. Mm-hmm. Not as good as we thought. Cool. Microsoft We're Surface tech. Studio. Shout shout to, really uh, cool, bro. Legit. Not in my shout out to the Amazon budget. Fire one time. Yeah. A cop one. Real cheap. For free. Yeah. Cool, Wait, an Amazon Fire Stick? <laughs> no, the Fire uh, tablet. Tablet. Oh, oh okay. I that think it's pretty fire. No, you talk about a Fire Stick. I was going to say, oh, bro, I, <laughs> it's, I see you out here. You there's know, there's ads in the fucking uh, home screen, so that's cool. Like in the lock menu. What? Oh yeah, yeah. To the, buy more books. And yeah, stuff so like I'm like, yeah. okay. Oh, I don't know how to turn that off. I don't feel. I don't know how I feel about that. No, because yeah, my mom had my mom got the original Kindle Fire a couple years ago, and they even had those on there too. Like the lock screen would say something, and then you'd lock it, and then. It just annoys me because yeah. like it's it's teasing me because it's learning what I like. <laughs> and it's, and it's, so it's just like hot it's, seats, like no, it's, it's just like King Cock hot <laughs> seats <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. No, it's like you can get this on Amazon. Don't King worry. Cock, if you're listening <laughs> to this pod, audio podcast, if you want to send us free merchandise, we will um, demonstrate and, and test them here on live on the podcast. Demonstrate. <laughs> And uh, that boy Luther volunteers. <laughs> uh, I'm good. I might, you know, I'll be there, you <laughs> no. know, filming like like the unboxing, probably the assembly. But uh, I'm good. Could you once, have this channel become nothing but it. like reviews of sex toys? <laughs> hey, if we get hacked, that might happen. It's the business plan. Yeah, dude, <laughs> that's the move. Step one, do something. Step two, get money. Hey, yeah. but um, no, yeah, Jungle Book was pretty dope this year. Movies, um. Movies were pretty good this year. What else? Arrival was pretty good. You saw you saw Arrival. Arrival was really good. Arrival. Arrival was all right. I liked it. Um, it came. It was kind of disappointing for me. I don't know why. Like I think I had different expectations of what the movie was gonna be. Mm-hmm. Like for me, I thought it was gonna be more of a thriller. And be oh, more, I hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And be more. It's not a thriller. No. It's oh, mm, not really. That's it's, what I wanted to see. It's there's yeah, some suspense saying. towards the end when they're like. Oh, what does all this mean? Like, we got to communicate, and you're like, you know what I mean? It's gonna that work trailer out. sells it like a suspense. Yeah, that's that's really what I'm really saying. Like, yeah. And usually when I see a horror movie trailer, I'm like, all right. I mean, no, they're probably yeah. marketing this not the way it needs to be, but, like, with this kind of movie, I thought they were marketing it like a thriller. And I didn't like the that's design of the uh, aliens. Not. Oh, you get to see the aliens? Yeah. yeah, that's the other part that, like, really upset me, is that you see them. Well, like, the way they reveal them is cool, yeah. but you see them way too early. Oh damn! Yeah, damn. 
see it. Yeah. It's a weird movie, dude. It's I mean it's good. And it's I mean, not like it's, it's fantastic really cool in my opinion, but I think it's good. As what movie is this again? Arrival. Arrival. Oh, okay. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've not. It. I want to see it. You it's got see these, it. It's got these flashbacks. I mean, the cinematography is gorgeous, so yeah. you'll definitely appreciate that. Yeah, the subreddits that go on to the, about film and stuff like that, they say it's one of the most beautifully shot uh, alien movies out there. So, like, that alone, like, regardless of it's, like, the reveal of the aliens isn't, tr- like, amazing. Did uh, Forrest Whitaker's accent bother you? Wait, Forrest Whitaker yeah. puts on an yeah. accent other yeah. than the yeah, Forrest Whitaker accent? Yeah, he keeps doing accent. this in all his fucking movies. He's doing these weird voices. And, like, what the fuck is wrong with he's you? Yo, he's you're a fantastic have... actor. Just, like, Yo, you guys normal. ready for him in a Rogue One? That's what I was gonna no, say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One, like, right? His voice sounds weird in Rogue One, too. But that's Star Wars, though. Oh, that man is a living legend. <laughs> I don't know. Shout out Forrest Whitaker one time. Dude, every time every time I see that man, I just think of the Kim Peel skit. Where he's like uh, a baby. The baby Forrest <laughs> Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't take that man serious. I can't take him either, man. He's looking at two places all all at once. So what is? Like, do we know what's wrong with his eye? Like, what is? Like, bro, he, he just, just has a lazy eye. Yeah, that's no, it. that's beyond lazy. <laughs> it's beyond lazy. <laughs> that's that's a those. sedated eye. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes uh, in a coma right now. Constantly. <laughs> Shout out Forrest Whitaker. Can he, does he see eye. out that eye? Like, does oh, he know? for sure. Yeah, he has to. So he's like a bug, right? Like he sees one way, and then the other eye is looking like behind him. Yeah. That's to help, you know, Can him all stay, stay safe from, like, predators and stuff <laughs> what, like that. Yeah. What, predators? <laughs> what predators do you think Forrest Whitaker has to survive from? Apes? No, um... Other actors trying to jock his... Yeah, stuff. like Lawrence Fishburne yeah. probably trying to yeah. get yeah. the same Terrence role. Howard. <laughs> yeah, Terrence you Howard. You know he's desperate for work. <laughs> <laughs> all these people trying to take Forrest Whitaker's job. He'd be shit out of a luck if another actor for Lazy Eye came through. <laughs> he would lose that shit. He would lose that shit so fast. Uh, what other movies, though? Jungle Book, that we were talking about. Civil Jungle War. Book. Fantastic movie. Civil, Civil War. War was also pretty good. Civil War's good. I like Civil War. I think Civil War is a little too hyped. No, yeah, Civil War is too hyped because I tried no, watching it for yeah. the second time, it's but ended good. up just fast-forwarding to the Spider-Man scene because that's all I wanted to see. Bro, <laughs> well, let's Spider-Man talk about trailer. that fucking yes. Spider-Man Homecoming that. trailer. Bro, I can fucking hype for that. Oh, man. So, that movie's going to be good. I hope they uh, foreshadow also, Shocker. I also like... How you have your top movies list? They're not. Rogue they're not in order. Just so you <laughs> yeah, know. but <laughs> Rogue One's on there. Oh, I already know it's but my you number know one. It's, gonna be. it's you my know. number one. There's no. There's no other option, dude. Out of all the movies, okay. Before we, I, I need to see La La Land is too. Like, I want to see that movie so bad. Yep. Uh, oh, Ten Cloverfield have, Lane came out this year. Yeah, I was about to say oh, you, I love that movie. That's on my list too. Ten Cloverfield Lane. We'll talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. I've actually seen Ten Cloverfield Lane pretty recently. Oh, Didn't so we, we watch it together? It. No, no, I watched. That was it with, me and Q. I watched it with my dad. That was me and Q. And he, he, had it, he had it playing, and I was like, what is this? And he was like, 10 Cloverfield Lane. And I was like, bye. I'm and then he was like, no, 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 no. Sit down, sit down, sit down. And I sat down. I no, watched it's it. good. No, yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. good. No, I, want, yeah. I want a sequel to that. And they're, making, they're making another Cloverfield movie Dude, okay, real that, quick. In the next year. Because I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this is me being crazy, but like, I'm pretty sure when they were marketing this movie, they're like, it's not a sequel to Cloverfield. It's not, though. No. But it's I mean, in the same it's, world. It no, like but shares the same universe. Okay, because on the fucking DVD, it says, Mm-hmm. The sequel to Cloverfield. I'm well, like, I mean, that's I mean, just to it was sell just it. annoying. Just to sell marketing it. speak. But like, yeah, that's marketing speak. But like, really, it's not tied to that story. Yeah. Do you guys really, think you the know, next movie will? Because the way I see, I still, and I will preface this with, I haven't seen Aliens yet, but I've watched a whole bunch of shit on it and. From aliens what? or aliens? aliens. I've seen okay. aliens. Like so James James you think that ten- you've never seen James Cameron's aliens? Yeah, James I've Cameron. never seen James Cameron's yeah, aliens James because I've Cameron. seen. You need so- to get out of this house, oh, Luther. Are you see. doing anything tonight? Uh, maybe. Probably. Why? Oh, you, are you trying to watch Aliens? We should watch Aliens. Aliens is awesome, dude. Don't aliens watch fucking this. awesome. It hold up. Aliens. We can do it. Dude, I've seen ever, Alien, but. Aliens, <laughs> Aliens Three, Aliens Resurrection. Okay. Fuck those movies. The third one sucks. The fourth one sucks. One and two AVP, are the best. AVP two. Oh, those are horrible movies. Nah, dude, don't watch it. They're horrible movies. I'm telling you right now. I've seen AVP. Okay, literally the AVP only AVP three two movies is really that, shit. The yeah. only three movies with that universe or with the alien character that are worth watching: Alien, Aliens, Prometheus. Is no, it, Prometheus I liked. Yep. Then how do you not like Alien? It's because it's too old, man. I told you, you have an issue watching old movies. <laughs> but that movie, Alien One, holds is pretty up, slow. Though. It is goddamn boy. When you well, see you the don't like Alien. A- so it's really see, scary. I like a- I like Alien, but the only reason I still haven't seen Aliens is because I've seen, like I said, I you've I was, seen so much of it. I've seen like trailers and I've seen all this stuff, and I was like, Alien holds up so much better than Aliens does because it's the action movie. No, yeah, that's an '80s action movie, that, and that's what that's what I want to ask you guys. You also, do you guys see think everything. It still holds up really well. 
fuck it up. I mean, it's you gotta go walk it, and you're not. You, hey, this is a a movie of the past. Enjoy no, no. It. I mean, I, I am gonna watch it, but what I want to ask is, do you guys think Ten Cloverfield Lane is like Alien, and the next movie that's coming out is gonna be like Aliens? I hope not. I I, th- I, I still want it to be mysterious. It's, yeah. like, it's all suspenseful and everything. The next right. one will be more action. Yeah, I no, I that. think, but like even well, I mean, Cloverfield had suspense. Like, yeah, and Abrams is known for suspense and myst- mystery. True. But see though, I don't um, think he's gonna like. No, going back that. though to Cloverfield though, from what I heard is I mean, even in what Super Gabe 8, was saying is half suspenseful. right, and then what you were saying is the other half. Is that Ten Cloverfield Lane is technically a sequel. But it's more of a but it's reboot not. slash yeah that's what I'm saying reboot slash spiritual successor like it te- it takes place like in the same world in as the same Cloverfield time, though no yeah at the sa- that's what I'm saying at the same time but it's like I said it's not a sequel to Cloverfield it's just in the same world and then maybe as the story goes on it goes a little bit past whatever happens it in will Cloverfield if they further her story no uh, yeah the, the main person's story you think they'll keep with her. I'm just saying that, like, watching so. 10 Cloverfield I Lane, I, hope so, I was getting, like, alien vibes, and I was like, yeah. maybe this will be, like, the, the next one will be, like, an action movie. I don't want it to, Because, I mean... I like the mystery, though. Like, that's No, what, I see, I like the mystery, and that's why I'm saying I don't I don't, I I don't, don't like, want to go... I don't like go. answers in movies like that. But she is going to... That's what I'm saying, though, is she's going to a... Fight the aliens. Yeah, right, she's yeah. going to fight an alien, she's going, and then she's so, also going to, like, meet up with other humans. But you're telling me, like, you don't If they did continue with that character, it probably would be an action movie. Yeah. So let me give you the two options that, like... You would most likely find in that area. Um, well, you think she's going to get to the place where the she's going to get to the place, and it's going to have everybody there, and it's going to be like aliens, where you have a huge force of humans fighting against aliens, okay. or it's going to be like, yeah, that's a distress call from like three weeks ago, and we're almost all dead. Oh, okay. So it's literally just a handful of people. That okay. I think it's going to go down that. So then path it's going to be like the World of Wars. Type yeah, movie. and I want that, and I don't well, want them to know. I'm down with a World of Wars type yeah. movie. Yeah. I don't want them to know what the aliens are. Hey, we have we know a few things less about it, you know, like, and I don't I don't think it, those type of movies don't you don't need to know. That's that's part of the mystery. That's a part of like when you walk out of that movie, you're thinking about that. Like, what do those aliens do? And then like, I don't like it when you get the answer and it's either one not what you wanted or two like at that point you're like, eh, maybe it was better when it when I didn't know. You know what I mean? You know what they still don't answer though in Ten Cloverfield Lane. And for anybody listening, just fast forward like 30 seconds. Cause it's, <laughs> yeah, big spoiler it, alert. It's, I mean, it's not even a really big spoiler alert, but there's a lady who bangs on the who bangs on the shelter that they're in, right? Mm-hmm. And her face is like pretty burnt up and all that stuff too. But they never say because when you find out as things progress and you find out that her burns aren't from what you think her burns are for, then what happened to her? You, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah. isn't that I, that's yeah, but cool do you really though? Need to know that, though. Why do you need to know that? Yeah. No, 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 no. Need, that's what I'm saying. That like that's what I've learned in like film is like yeah. you don't need to know. That's like literally classic Hollywood telling you like when you walk out of a movie and like it doesn't tell you a thing. You go, oh, I don't like that because it didn't tell me. I was like, no, that's kind of the cool thing about it. No, like, I mean like it's it didn't cool, fucking like but then hand why, you the answer. I, the only reason I'm asking for an answer is because they seem like they want to answer more things by making another movie. But maybe they make it and they don't even answer those questions because sometimes. The desk. Sometimes answering small questions isn't what you need at all. Like, I just watched this movie called Ratcatcher where this kid accidentally was playing with another kid and the other kid drowned at the beginning of the movie. And Shouts out. but you think that the whole movie kid. is gonna be like focusing? Sounds depressing as hell. Yeah. You you think that. the whole movie is gonna be focusing on how this kid's coping with that? But it doesn't answer. It doesn't answer that question at all. It just moves and past it, it. Doesn't move past it. Like it's really hard. Like, like. That happens. So the dude's in, like, it's, like, the 50s or something like that in uh, Scotland. And the city that they're living in is, um, like, run down. And um, all the people, like, work at, like, factories. And they're all going on strikes. So everybody's poor. Like, it's dirty now because no one's working in the city anymore. There's, like, mm-hmm. trash bags everywhere. It's disgusting. So, like, there's rats everywhere. And, um, every, like I said, everything's run down to begin with. Um, and basically his family's trying to get rehoused. They try to get relocated, uh, government like through government stuff, and uh, um, like midway through the movie, he runs off um, um, and finds one of the rehousing areas that's being built for people to relocate, and like he falls in love with the area. It's beautiful. There's like 
huge like lands that he can just run and just be free and like the whole movie is like this being this kid he's like in this shitty life he hates his life basically shitty stuff like this girl that he fought he like fell in love with like she's being sexually abused by like all the teenage assholes that live there and she just deals with it by the end of the movie like he realizes none of this stuff matters none of them's gonna get fixed that girl's still gonna get sexually abused the dude i killed still dead my friend that doesn't give a shit about anything is still not going to give a shit about things. My dad, my stepdad's always going to hate me, and then he just drowns himself at the end. That's that's Jesus. dope. I like okay, that. but it's ambiguous too because like what this. happens is he's sitting and he's sitting at the end. You're like, this kid's going to jump in the water and kill himself, and he jumps into the water and it shows like like a long take of him under the water, and then it jump cuts to him uh, walking in that same field uh, with all his all, and, and his, like with his family in front of him holding uh, like stuff from the house. And they're going to the dream house. That's and he sits there and smiles when he looks at the dream house. And then it cuts back to him um, in the water. And then it just ends. And you're like, I don't know if he ended up killing himself or he jumped out of the water and they ended up getting rehoused or what. But, like, the movie itself wasn't, like, there to answer that question. It was looming there the whole time. But, like, by the end of the movie, I wasn't like – like, you, there is still, like, a – Oh, like, it sucks I don't know the ending, like, the end of the tale of this kid. But, like, the movie's like, that's the point. Like, you don't know the ending of this of this kid's story because, like, this movie isn't about that. It's about him dealing with that stuff. It's not, it's not what is his end goal after dealing with this stuff. Saying, like, damn, dude, like, life can suck. We're not gonna and we're we're not gonna give you this. There's like another one. Uh, it's one of the biggest art cinema movies. Uh, this, it's called 400 Blows, and it's this kid basically too, uh, in uh, France, and he hates his life. And uh, it's not it's horrible, but like he basically about yeah. Neon Demon. I haven't Whoa, seen that. What is explain this? Neon basically, Demon. 400 Blows. The kid, the, the kid literally. Yeah, that's what just, I heard. That's why I want to see it. The kid literally just. It's like this like three minute long take of him. He just runs away. And he just starts running and running, and his dream is, like, always to be at the beach. He's always wanted to see the beach. So he runs to the beach, and um, he looks at the camera, and the camera uh, freeze frames at, at him, and it just says, the end. And that's it. And you're like, damn, like, I mean, he got to the beach, but, like, his main goals were, like, I want to run away and live a nice life. But you ne- he runs away, but you never know if he was successful at it or if he came back after he went to the beach or anything like that it's just like no that's the ending and i mean like definitely art cinema dives in that like realm of like hey we're not going to give you the ending that you want but like you're starting to see like bigger filmmakers uh you saw it with martin scorsese with the end of departed like that's not a type of ending that you usually get in a traditional you know hollywood film or tarantino's a perfect example of like an auteur that has or like someone like hitchcock's kind of breaking those boundaries a couple years but we're starting to see it with a almost every big actor that you i mean a director perfect perfect one inception the end of the inception Mm -hmm. what's the ending it's up to you it's up, it's up to you to figure out. Yo, what do you guys think? How of that dope is Dunkirk that shit, though? Poster, though? Yo, did they you see the trailer? trailer today too? Yeah. Oh, they dropped a trailer because yeah. I saw it the poster okay. earlier this week. I feel like that's a type of movie to where like it's really Go back hard. To our war movies, yeah. Discussion. It, it's really yeah. hard to. I called it though. Show the violence <laughs> if you want to show the violence because it's trailer. But it's also difficult because I feel like he doesn't really want to tell most. He doesn't want to give away any of the story. Yeah. 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 Oh, once I saw that poster, I was sold on that movie. I don't even need to see the trailer. No, dude. Christopher Nolan's doing a World War II movie. That's what sold me. <laughs> like, sure, I mean, like the, oh, that alone. Like, I was like, cool. I mean, just Nolan itself. I want to see every Nolan in the movie. way it was shot. Maybe, yeah. Yes, sold me on that. From the trailer, mm-hmm. it's beautifully shot. But what do you expect? It's fucking Christopher Nolan. Right. Um, the trailer itself, kind of weird. I don't know. Like, it didn't. Didn't feel like a trailer that much. Kind of just felt like, all right, here's a scene of this dude looking. Here's a dude. That, Here's a scene of war. Here's a scene of this. And this is R-rated, right? We. That I have no are... idea, but I bet you it's going to be PG-13. Okay. It's Nolan. And it's probably a, if not his biggest budget, one of his, in the in the running between, like, Inception or, like, Dark Knight. I, I know mean, Dark Knight Rises. People could have like said the same thing, too, leading up to uh, Spielberg's Saving Private Ryan. I don't think he made a But that movie R-rated. didn't have a budget like, uh, like, Dunkirk? like Nolan usually does. I'm I'm speculating. I'm, I'm we don't we don't know no, the yeah, budget, yeah, yeah. but I'm I'm assuming this movie's like two hundred million to make. 
I think you know? I think Saving Private Ryan was pretty high up there too, was it not? I don't think it's that much I can check. But usually like um I'm guessing one thirty five. One thirty five? Gabe, Gabe, what you guessing? <laughs> one thirty five. I'm guessing <laughs> You're guessing thirty five? Yeah, Eighty million. Eighty? I'm down how about how about you, Greg? <laughs> what, are you, what are you guessing, Greg? It was at 136. 140. 140? Okay. I could totally see it in the hundreds. Let's see. 70 million. Oh, oh, yeah. Close. Yeah, 70 million. Okay, okay, okay. See, that, that, like... But well, that's still in the 90s, though. But, like, though. think of... Shout out to Tom Hanks. Yeah. T. Oh. Hanks, Vinny D, uh... Forrest. Wait, Forrest Whitaker Forrest was in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, not Forrest. See, that movie made... Oh, I'm made? Sh- I'm sure I'm not. 481 uh, million worldwide. No, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But how much funny would it be the if boy Avengers, Matt Damon? instead of they have Samuel Jackson and half Oh, yeah, Whitaker, Matt Damon was in that too. But they have his, uh, his good Ryan. eye covered. That's just his bad eye. Yeah. Sick, you know? <laughs> but what I've known, so like Dunkirk, probably, let's say, assume $200 million budget. That doesn't include the marketing. And it's when you have a, a mega budget movie that's like 200, yeah. you usually have uh, a marketing budget of at least half of that, if not more. Mm-hmm. Something like Star Wars, that was probably like, what, 200 make to make, I think? But dude, they probably spent 200 to 300 to million on marketing alone for that movie. But look what they look what happened. They got two mil- over 2 million uh, th- through box office alone, and that's not even including how much fucking money they got off merchandise. Now I kind of want to see this trailer now to see... Cause I mean, you guys said it later. Yeah, you guys said it podcast. Okay, because honestly, like I was sold on that movie, assuming it was gonna be gritty and be rated R. But I'm not saying it'll pull any punches if it's PG-13. But could be a little more emotional side. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be like that. But I will say I'm a little less sold on it if it is PG-13. I mean, I'm still. I I, I, see. I I I guess definitely one of my most anticipated of next year. Oh, I I, I guess. I guess that's not really a thing for me because I still put in consideration it's gonna be PG-13. I don't know. I don't. I haven't read an article, but like. But it does make sense. What, what's the only R-rated, R-rated movie? What, is it Memento the only R-rated movie that uh, he did? And I bet you Maybe, yeah. that was a low budget movie from what I would assume. Oh, see, I haven't seen Memento, and I and I, was, I mean I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it, and I just assumed that one was PG thirteen. Yeah, as well. but ever since he got in like the Hollywood scene, yeah. yeah, since what? I mean, I guess Dark Knight, Prestige, maybe. But there's I think Prestige two thousand six. Yeah, yeah. So like Batman Begins was kind of his first like big, big, big like uh, Hollywood movie. Yeah. I mean, ever since then he's done PG thirteen. Let's, no, ta- yeah, yeah. let's talk about a movie that's definitely not PG thirteen. Real quick, it's a movie that came out early in the year. I always I forgot that and it came definitely out. Definitely one of the best it. movies of the one year. of the best. I'd say top three. And we've talked about it before. Yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool. Uh, okay. Deadpool was good. good. Mr. Pool. So good. Great movie. That's crude yeah. humor at its finest. Yep. That is cru- crude humor at its finest. It's I, a hilarious movie, and it never lets up. No. Never lets up. Dude, in all honesty, I like. I was like, dude, I'm so stoked for this movie. And then, like, I got in the theater, and I was like, dude, what if this movie just doesn't, like... Maybe it packs a punch in, like, a third of it or a half of it, but what if it just starts to, like... What if it's a cliche ending? What if it's this? But, like, they, it was a cliche ending, but they totally... It was so were, self-aware. They were so self-aware of it. Right. It was so... It was so just fourth wall broken. And, like, that's the only thing I was like, dude, like... I love that, that Deadpool is, like, fourth wall. And I'm not saying that... There needs to be a limit on fourth wall, or like you could only, you can always use fourth wall. It's does every fourth wall joke deliver? You know what I mean? Because like Deadpool, if I don't know if you guys really, you don't guys aren't comic book guys, but like depending on who's writing Deadpool, it's kind of like a roller coaster of dude. Deadpool, like if you get a different writer and that writer's not that great on Deadpool, that movie sucks or that comic book sucks. Like, Deadpool's kind of the weird I can, one. I can see that. It happening. has, like, twos and threes for this, like, six-issue run. It's this, like, little mini series that they ended up trying to do with Deadpool. And then the next one's, like, all eights and nines, you know? So I was just like, damn, dude. Like, I think Ryan Reynolds is the right guy. But, like, is he oh, going to be able to – Is he Deadpool. going to be consistent, you know? Because it's an hour – or an hour and a half movie, two hours long. Like, is it really going to be that funny? That movie was fucking hilarious throughout. The whole movie. The whole movie. So not only was it one of the best action movies, but it was probably it was definitely best comedy. Yeah. Best comedy, yeah. Mm-hmm. You saw it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So we Theater. all saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's a good movie, man. Another comedy uh, I really, really enjoyed uh, that probably not a lot of people even like gave any attention to is Edge of Seventeen. Uh huh. It's not, like a coming of age story. Uh, okay, but it's please, actually really funny. And please it's a, tell it, me if that movie's even remotely good. Because oh, it's good. You should see it. I saw the trailer, and then I'm like, okay, this is this looks good. This looks good. And then it started going. Fr- it, no, it starts going like, hey, if you love Breakfast Club, all this other stuff. Ferris Bueller's Days Off, and I was like, "Oh, why are you guys shouting out all these old movies? Just do you like you don't have to, like you yeah. already sold me on right. the movie. You don't have to like do all this other stuff." Yeah, because it has um, dude, I can't remember his name now. Woody Harrelson. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. I'll, I don't fantastic. know why, but I wanted to Woody say Woody Harrelson? Allen. He's just sarcastic the entire movie, but um, I love that movie. it's basically just a coming of age story about this teenage girl. Yeah, and like just dealing which John with... Hughes did perfectly for you know all the eighties. Yeah, early I 90s. mean it's been done before, but um. The movie just strikes a really good balance between comedy and then, like, drama. Just, like, Mm -hmm. dealing with life and super relatable for anybody that's grown up, gone through their teenage years. That's why John Hughes is still a name you hear. Because, like... Wait, he made this movie? No. Uh, He is the, like, golden... He he was the golden age of coming of age. Oh, okay. Like Breakfast... That's why Breakfast Club, like, resonates to people like today. Yeah. Like, when I watched breakfast club like there's usually at least one of the dudes in that or like one of the characters in that uh, movie that you like, what other coming of age movies to. have you made i mean ferris bueller's a coming of age story uh, um pretty in pinks uh 16 candles okay uh it's a wonderful kind of life um i mean he did home alone that's not a coming of age story but like i mean it just shows you like i mean dude you just like pop that dude's resume up and it's just like holy shit and, like every single like movie that wasn't like big blockbuster yeah. like back to the future or et or something like that like if you go back to the future anything that's time. outside <laughs> of that it was probably john hughes in the 80s cool but yeah like, i would recommend it i mean it hits you in the feels and makes you laugh okay so okay, okay. definitely got to check it out now it's good man has anyone here seen sausage party no no, no fuck that i shit. heard that movie was like just at the by the end it was just crude to be crude Dude, yeah like, they, I weren't, hate, they weren't they weren't i hate comedies like that that's why like when i first saw this is the end i just Yo, I like. This I was game. not Did feeling you finish it? it? Like, I need no. Yeah, I watched the whole okay. movie in theaters. Okay. You know what I will say though, see, Greg? I feel like, I got like I need to see it again, but like, uh, I just hate comedies that are like trying it so hard off. to be edgy and it, just like offend and make people yeah. like laugh at that shit. Like, shit. I'll definitely say know. the beginning of this is the end was like that. Like, especially the party. Yeah. yeah. Before like it happened, um, but it got better at least for me. No, see, I mean, they still had crude stuff throughout. I'm not saying that, but like. It was that movie started off really crude. Did you see Sausage Party? Yeah, I saw Sausage like, Party. But what I was gonna say was, I'm glad that you brought up This Is the End. See, I like This Is the End. I will say the beginning is a the beginning is a little crude. Now I'm Michael not talking Sarah's about Sausage fantastic, Party. Fantastic. No, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm this saying. Is the end. But This Is the End. Like throughout the whole movie, though, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. But with Sausage Party, the whole beginning of the movie, it's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. And then shit it, goes down. It gets to this point. Yeah, it gets to this point at the end of the movie. Where you're just like, fuck, why are they doing this? Oh, fuck, whoa, why are you doing this? Oh, shit, this has gone on for like two minutes. Boop. I turned, I don't know, I don't even know, honestly, how Sausage Party ends because of what happens at the end of Sausage Party. What's going on? You guys on? want me, does anybody yeah. care about spoilers? Dude, they just all fuck No, I don't care. Yeah, that's literally what happens. An orgy? The sausage? Like a the, food uh, orgy. What? Sausage Party. It's called so, Sausage Party. Yeah, but no, but you want to hear want to hear what's crazy though? No, yeah, you hear you hear that it's called Sausage Party. God damn but, it! But no, yeah, no, but <laughs> since but no, 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 I'm just saying it clicked. No, but see, no, it's even it's even worse than that though because when the movie starts, right? He um, Seth I mean, Rogen I already is, knew about like all the sexualized humor with no, it yeah, because yeah, obviously like they make like the buns look like vaginas. Yeah, and, and, like, and uh-huh, none, yeah, none yeah, of that yeah, stuff, yeah. none of that expect? stuff is bad either. But um, what happens is as the movie goes on, it gets to the point where you're like. Well, you, well, you're thinking to yourself, you're like, I feel like none of this matters anymore because they all realize they're food. And then the characters realize none of this matters anymore. We're all food. So let's fuck. Yeah. That's, that's what happens. <laughs> and, but no, yeah, yeah. Like, and the movie, the, the beginning of the movie starts and they're like, yeah, you know, we want to go to the great beyond, which is like going to the person's home to get to, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. they don't know they're going to get eaten, but they're going to the person's home. The thing right. is like, basically like going to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, but like the hot dogs are like, yeah, I can't wait to get into that bun and all this stuff. But still all that stuff, you're like, okay, it's, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But then by the end of the movie, they, um, oh, and they also have like racial jokes in there too. Like there's a falafel and like a donut. Donut's supposed to be the Jewish guy. Falafel's supposed to be like, like, uh, pa- is it, no, Palestine. 
Wait, which one? Which one is the ones that are always fighting? It's Israel and Palestine, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're fighting. They're fighting. They're fighting. But by the end of the movie, since none of it matters anymore, they just start fucking. They start fucking. How, how, oh, yo, one did, of the, you, did you cl- click it off during a like long sex scene? Bro, the was whole it, ending is a sex scene. The movie ends with a with a huge ass orgy. How do they so fuck, it's just though? a bunch of like like it's like it's a t- like uh, it starts off where he's like, oh, I've been waiting so long to do this, and then like he he's like the hot dog starts sliding in and out of the in bun. and out of the bun, yeah, and yeah, you're okay. like, okay, okay. Not ha, bad, ha, funny, not bad. And then the falafel and the donor are like, "Yeah, spread all that, spread all that stuff on me." I'm like, "Whoa, what's <laughs> yeah. okay, you guys need to chill." And then I don't um, want to combine falafels with donuts. Yeah, uh, and then uh, about that one. Uh, there's like this lady who, uh, she's a taco, so she's Mexican. She comes out of nowhere and she goes, "Naturally, she goes, she goes up to the um, to the hot dog bun and she goes, ah, I've been waiting to do this forever because you know once you go taco, you don't go backo." And she just starts. Like eating out Holy. the the hot dog bun, and you're just like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, why are we seeing all this? And while while all this is going on too, there's even more numerous foods in the background just like doing fucking. just fucking, and you're just like, bro, I, like this this movie, like this movie was honestly like a solid like seven till this point where I, now I can't even recommend the movie anymore because Damn. if you recommend the movie to somebody and they get to the ending and you didn't even warn them about the ending, they're like, bro, you're fucking weird. Like, cause like, <laughs> no, like literally everybody, Dude, are you into food fucking? Like, yeah. That's that what I'm saying? saying. Everybody I've talked to, everybody goes, yeah, the movie was pretty funny until the ending. Dave, did you just find it? Yeah. He's watching it. <laughs> First hand impressions coming up. I see the falafel. All right. While he's doing that, I'm going to shout out a couple more movies. Please do. All right. We need to get to these. Wait, wait, though. hold up. I want to grab one from your list real All quick. All right, you go. You go. Swiss Army Man. How Ooh, was that? How was that? Because I heard that shit is awesome. So good. Is it's that the so uh, weird. Daniel Radcliffe? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to see that. And uh, Paul Dano. Um, super funny. Um, God, the soundtrack. I heard it's like charming, too. The it's soundtrack like a weird is so good. The, the entire soundtrack was done by um, Andy Hull and Robert... <laughs> Uh, McDowell of uh-huh. Manchester Orchestra. Okay. And they basically did the entire thing with just vocals. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. I'm sorry. Like, you're telling me this, like, really, like, I'm like, no, <laughs> you're watching you're the scene. Jerk, I, literally, I literally just, like, turned over to the, like, just, just food fucking. That's all it is. That's what I'm saying. This is weird. Mr. It's this really, is really weird. weird. I like how Mr. Grits is black. D- yeah, yeah, dude. It's just, that whole movie just gets Grits. Oh, oh my lord. That's oh. so bad. Oh. <laughs> see, I don't even remember. Oh. I don't even see the part when the grits were fucking. <laughs> like, like, I, like I told you, I turned fuck, that shit off dude. early. Oh, he's getting double head. Dude, there's like 20 things just oh, fucking in here little, right now. Poor little Vienna sausage. Oh, he sees a little baby. Uh, Why are her eyes blink Little separately? baby bun. Is he going to fuck her? Of course he is. Did he fuck her? Hold on, let me turn the volume up on this. Like hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Oh, they're abnormal pieces oh. of food that are being left out. That's oh, he's talking a, about he's the hot dog. That's he's a fucked up hot dog. She's a fucked up bun. She got. Oh, she's they're thick, fucking. Though. She's thick as fuck. Yeah, she took him down. Whoa. Oh, he's, he's fucking. He's fucking a box of crackers. <laughs> Mr. Grit started. Hum- he opened up a box of crackers and started humping it, and crackers started coming out. Whoa. whoa. What, what the fuck? Oh, my. This dude. This, oh. Oh, okay. the falafel's getting his tosses. To, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I think this is where you stopped. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all it's, right, getting, it's getting hella kinky. Whoa! Oh, what the fuck, dude? What? Oh, is that a strap on? <laughs> dude, this hot dog was like what? fucking like four things. What the? How long is this? Okay, it's a few more seconds. Dude. I can only imagine how uncomfortable everyone in the movie theater was. Dude, I'm I bet. Okay. Dude, I bet you 20 bucks that's exactly why they did it. Hey, let's make, make like, people uncomfortable. Hey, we get fifty theater. people in a home in a theater, and we're just gonna have a whole food orgy. Dog, in front you of weren't them. lying, dude. Yeah, I weird. told you. Like uh, everybody just starts so gay. Fucking. How's your How's your life after witnessing that? Uh, I no longer want to eat. There you I go. do. <laughs> Food's I like disgusting. Food. <laughs> no, dude. When you see a, what was it? A, a when a next bun? time you put something in your mouth that's food, just think about where that's been and what they've done to each yeah, other. Especially what cucumbers. It's, what it's done to True. another food. Yo, I want to I want to shout out to uh, Kingsglaive. Not the best movie when it comes to story, but uh, I say Kings. It's Final <laughs> Fantasy, of course. If you, if no one knows what Kingsglaive is, is it? How is it? Uh, I wanted to shout. I mean, like, out. The, okay, 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 okay. Quick, quick little rundown. The actual like beat to beat when it comes to story, eh? The dialogue's okay. 
the actual story itself, when I'm like, I, if I explain the story, dope. Dope. It's just how they execute it. It was like a seven, a six. Talking about. Like it was a story, but the action, dude, the action is dope. Because it's 2016, yeah. like at this point, like Advent Children was really dope, just solely for the action alone. That's what's gonna ask. And, and, but that was what, like 2007? It's been nine years. Like, dude, the action in this movie looks is like fucking rad. So like the last like 40 minutes of this movie is just like total badass fighting. And I kind of wish it was it looked like that in the in the game, but it totally doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> like you're like, dude, this is fucking badass, and then like you start Final Fantasy and you're like pushing a car. So, yeah, that's gameplay. Progress, so. No, no, gameplay is good in Final Fantasy. I love it. But like, yeah, of course. I mean, you gotta, you know, you got a movie. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You know, you're not hindered by like Shut up, what we can time. do with combat. You know, <laughs> yeah. Get, I mean, Greg, because it seems like you watched most of the movies I wanted to see, but actually watched them because I wanted to see Kubo, and I actually wanted to see I it. Seen over, it yet. Me uh, either. Damn, I haven't seen it yet either. I wanted uh, to watch it my over friend the weekend. Uh, Eddie said it was really good. No, yeah, bro. You wanna know what sold me on the movie? Shout out my boy uh, Tim Gettys on Kind of Funny. All he said was, Kubo is a video game movie, is a video game movie that isn't about a video game. As soon as he said that, and I also got, yeah, I was sold. And I also got to see what he meant by that. And I was like, dude, this is fucking awesome. Don't tell me at all. Like, I literally don't know almost anything about that movie, so I just want to go in blind. It's stop motion. That, yeah, I mean. What the fuck <laughs> no, no, i've seen the pictures but like okay. i haven't i haven't looked at a synopsis yeah. or a description of what the, the plot is like i don't know anything about it and i would shout out boy and the beast but i know that came out in japan last mm, year i need to see that i, I think that. but i don't if think it's, if it came it's out U- domestic in the u.s this release. i can't remember if it came out in the u.s this year whatever i'm still gonna shout out to revenant because i didn't watch it until this year fucking amazing oh then i'm movie. definitely shouting out boy and the beast yeah i'm reminiscing my 2016 on movies so revenant but you can kind of put that in there because it was like what I mean, yeah, Christmas? Yeah, it was like yeah. December. Was it was it a wide release at Christmas or was it a limited release at Christmas? Oh, it was wide. wide. I think it was the wide. one that was limited was uh, Hateful Eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Hateful Eight. Great movie. Best Bro, Tarantino hate, movie. No. Hateful Eight no, is fucking no, awesome. No. Wait, yeah, which, so what's your favorite? Kill Bill Volume One. I never watched. Why Kill Volume? Bill. Oh, volume, my bad, my bad. I, I was thinking, I was, I was thinking about and flipped. I was like, wait, why Volume? No, yeah, one? Volume Two is is good, but not not compared to Volume One. Volume Two doesn't have the what is it? The um, the crazy eights. Oh yeah, bro, that fight scene with the crazy eights. Yeah, volume one is great. Yeah, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna watch it this week. Please watch it, bro. Dude, I, like, for, I, I literally just forget all the time that I haven't seen the movie, and someone brings it up. I'm like, fuck, I dude, I need to watch that. Tarantino. And then I never like forget. It. I just forget that, it about. That is my favorite to movie to put me to sleep. Uh, n- not, I'm, 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 no, 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 you don't <laughs> violence, understand. Violence, violence, violence. Ah, peace. You guys didn't. You guys didn't finish that. You guys didn't let me finish. Is my favorite movie to put me to sleep after I've spent like the whole night drinking. So I'll be sitting there and be like, dude, this is badass. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's TV. I mean, uh, movies. So quick yeah. shout out to uh, Uma Thurman. Did you want to bring hey. anything else up, Greg? Uh, just real quick, Green Room. Fantastic movie. There were a lot of like kind of suspenseful horror thrillers that came out this year. We had Hush yeah. on Netflix. We had. Don't breathe, which a lot of people like thought was fantastic. It was all right, okay. but um, to me, Green Room tops all of those movies. Cool. I, I want to see that. Green Room then. Yeah, because really good. I saw Hush, then heard about Don't Breathe, Breathe, Breathe from Funhouse, and the way that it, because I mean they literally just spoiled the whole movie for me, oh, yeah. and I was so glad they spoiled the whole movie for me because that movie also has something just really gross that I do not want to see. I still want to see it, so don't tell me. All right, I won't tell you. I'm down. I'm down for some I mean, gross shit. I don't know. Yeah, text that, it to me. I want to know. They're right. like appropriately grosses you out. But okay. Like I, like I really anyway, <laughs> TV shows. TV. Oh. Shout out. Shout out. I mean, number one best oh. TV show of the year. Hold on, hold on. Before we get to that, <laughs> shout out to season no six. World. Shout out to season six of Game of Thrones. One of the True. best. True. Really one good. of the best. Shout out. Fucking just, if you're a fan, they literally just gave I you gotta everything shout you out wanted. Season hold one the door. Westworld. Shout yeah, out to hold uh, the door. Hashtag hold the door. Yeah. <laughs> Hold the door for season seven, please. Shout out Westworld one time. Haven't, haven't finished it. it. I've only watched one episode, but I like, watched loved it. Three or four, but I got to finish it. Oh, you bro. Like it my dad said. Oh, dude, my I've dad heard said, conflicting things. Yeah. I've heard people say it's not that good, and it like takes oh, forever my dad's to get into like, it, and then other people oh, love it. Well, so. see, my, me and my dad have good tastes when it comes to 
Debatable. So, no, I got it. I got to oh. I mean, every taste <laughs> taste is a debatable thing. I know, I'm just kidding. But like, <laughs> I gotta watch it though before the next season rolls out. I mean, I gotta watch it soon I before got, I get that shit spoiled. So. No, see, I I listen because I mean, like, I listen to Dude Soup all the time, and they didn't really spoil it, but they literally they tell you where the show is going, and from that, I'm like, I can't do anymore. I gotta watch the show now. Yeah, yeah. My dad said so there's there's like twist. You're like, holy fuck, dude. No, yeah, see, so. I pretty much, from what Funhouse told me, I know what leads to those twists, but I don't know those twists, and that's why I need to watch it before somebody spoils those yeah. twists. Yeah, no joke. So, Westworld is a question mark. I loved the first episode. I was like, totally down for this, but I should have been so oh, busy. Oh, bro, I mean, I'm because I, that's what I thought, too. I got to Watch the second to- episode with Q and the third episode, and I was like, bro, does this show just keep getting better? I was about to say, I was like, I feel like the pilot is the worst episode. Oh, no, yeah, I mean... Technically, yes. When you keep going, because That's they I'm just saying. keep like unraveling more things. That's how. That's how what we're about to talk about. And it's like, no, dude, that was dope. But literally, the show just gets doper and doper. And that is the best show of 2016. The Get Down. down. The Stranger Things. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet? No, no, I haven't seen it yet. Bro, seriously. Oh, I mean, that. I wouldn't have spoiled it anyway because I, I, can't. I would never spoil it's that really show. Been on, my, on my list for like the long. Bro, you should have watched it during Halloween. I you might as well wait till next Halloween. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll watch, watch both shit. seasons. Just, no, watch I'm, both I'm, seasons. Yeah, out. bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait, dude. Just watch it, <laughs> bro. Um, imagine that two seasons of Stranger Things going all through October. I'm as well just just gonna be sitting there like, oh fuck, oh fuck, dude. Yes. Season one spoiled for you, and there's so many, dude. There's so many. Dude, I've literally have not heard a single thing. Yes, but when season two starts and everything starts popping up about. What we want in all that, and then people saying things. Dude, if people just spoil it now. Do you really think? Hey, Gabe, it, I will tell you, yes. and I can attest to this because even this coming from me, if someone would have been like, "Hey, this is what happened. This and this happens in the last episode of Stranger Things," which is what people are going to be talking about for season two, yeah. you can know that stuff, and you still Stranger Things. No, I don't think. I don't think. Cool what with it. happens at the end of the first or the last episode is what is the crazy thing. It's everything in between. But n- n- dude, watch, like, watch it like over again. All those in between things bro, are I've happening in that I've in that last it. episode. That's what I'm saying. All those all those things happen <laughs> in that last episode. I've watched it. I watched again. that show like four times. And again, oh, I'm, dude, same here. But I'm saying like literally all the crazy things that are like things that tell you like, hey, this will all be resolved in season two. All happen in the last episode. Like well, yeah. I don't I don't I, want I, to I spoil it for like Gabe. The ma- I said you meant like. I don't mean like the last five minutes of the episode. I mean like the whole last episode. No, the big thing that happens at the yeah. end of the last episode. Not the end end, but like the big... I'm trying to like say this without saying anything at all. Oh, I mean, bro, it's good. It's all, all good. Like, but, um, dude, I mean like... Dude, I will say though... I'm, I'm conflicted on this show. I, got, I want no spoilers, but at the same time, I kind of don't care. Just watch it, dude. I'll, Just watch it. No, dude, I always got a point. Like, I get two seasons by next Halloween. That's what I'm saying, bro. That'll be the dude. I really Bro, wish. What's the point of I would watch Stranger no, Things? No, no, no. What's the point of it now? But the point of like watching like, like it's episode, not gonna go in anywhere. Okay, but if that's me going like ah, I'll just wait till episode nine's done to go watch all the star all the Star Wars movies at once. It's like no, like part binge of the, that shit, bro. No, yeah. Part of the great thing is that you get to experience oh me you speculating what's gonna happen. That's what's great about watching Game of Thrones now. Like we have only two more seasons left. That's what's cool about Stranger Things because it's only like eight episodes, so you can binge it pretty quick. But it's cool that like I've loved to sit there and like have conversations with people and speculate what's. Here's the thing: when I when I'm binging something, I want more of it. So when it ends, I'm be like, "Well, fuck, I'm out of it." But, but that's but the they have a whole thing. season two to look forward. That's to. That's what I'm saying. There's also something about just enjoying it on your own. Like I understand where you're ta- coming from about like communicating with other people about yeah. it and like experiencing it with other people. Well, not wa- but at watching the same it time like, with other people. I'm just saying like I f- no I no it I know own. but like having a discussion about the show right yeah. and then sharing in the commonality no. but. At the same that time, like, you need to watch soon. You can just enjoy something. But there's so because, many bro, when you things s- in life. When you see it, like him if not you're try, even close him trying not to, like to get someone spoiled. who's interested in what starts hip hop yeah. or just hip hop in general. Oh, that sounds dope, bro. That sounds awesome. dope, bro. The music sold really good, bro. The, sure. the music you sold me already. The on music this. and then like they, there's like party scenes and other stuff. Like when they're yeah. like the way the colors are in that show. That, that show. That show's another one too. It's not on the same level as Stranger Things. Don't get me wrong. But it's the same thing too, where you watch the first episode, you'd be like, "All right, okay, cool, cool, cool." And then the second episode happens, you're like, "Bro, where the fuck are they going with this?" And then the next episode happens, you're like, "Dude, this is fucking dope." But then it ends like Stranger Things, where it's only like six episodes, and you're like, "Dude, I can't wait." Mm. But the only thing difference between the Get Down and Stranger yeah. Things is Get Down. I mean, there's no difference because a, a lot of things different. 
Yeah. No, but I mean like how they're set up. They're both yeah. set up to be like extra long movies. Yeah. yeah. Right. But they're basically a mini series. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. That's Stranger cool. Things I can see going on for multiple seasons. Get Down probably only has maybe three or four parts because they call them parts. Yeah. Like when you finish the um when you finish the last episode of Get Down, it'll say part two coming in the spring. That's cool. No, yeah. Real quick, how do you feel about this season of South Park? Don't like it at all. I knew you were gonna bring only it up. only ten episodes. <laughs> oh, it's only ten really? episodes. Yeah. Dang. Bro, I really I really hope I, I liked it I, when I, they did it with the uh, console wars. But I, didn't I like don't it last want season. I don't like it this season either. Oh, no, that's what I'm saying. I didn't like it last season. The uh, only season I thought it was cool was the console wars one yeah. because it, it it I thought everything they did was funny. But I don't like them going with the same well, joke they over did and it, over like, and over for the like what last three episodes of console wars. Yeah, like, that's all they did. All they yeah, did was the last three episodes. I, I'm not enjoying this. It's, it's a long ass movie. And it's 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 not. It's, not it's funny. only not funny. Like it's, it's not the first friends. first like two or three episodes are funny, and then they keep going on with the same joke, and you're like, ha ha. Ah, but I mean, like, I already laughed what this, like, last week. What do you think like, this spells week. for the game? No, you want to hear what's crazy? I honestly yeah. think they're just focusing on the game again. I think that's, that's what true. I was going to say. That's, that's why the show That's what happened. Suffering. I'm pretty sure yeah. it didn't yeah. the season that, like... No, because when um, Stick of Truth was being made, that pre- that's, that was the console war season. That was the console war season. that was a great yeah. season. Oh. But that was... You, you know, also got to remember, they have been they were working on <coughs> Stick of Truth for, like, a that's couple of years. I mean, you're right about that. Because remember, it was THQ. Right. So you got to know... At least one of the seasons during that production sucked solely because yeah. that's when most of the writing yeah. came about, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I just I just hope this doesn't like like spell doom for South Park. No, I do. It all depends on next season. If next season they do the same thing yeah. where it's like a continuous story arc, I can't do South Park. It's anymore. literally the only reason I have Hulu is for South Park. No, uh, yeah, I'm about to cancel Catfish this. Son. I've been watching Catfish with Devin, dude. People are it's crazy. a pretty entertaining show. People yeah. are crazy, dude. What people about are uh, wait, the, cat, the show crazy. like Catfish on MTV? Dude, literally, did the you only know a MTV girl in our high school got hooked on. was on that show. Really? Yeah. Like in Dude, Woodstock, they, they, like yeah, it was the senior that we graduated. They say she got catfished. Not, not, in, not in like catfishing. our grade, but like she went to our school. She was catfishing. That's she got she catfishing. no, they were both catfishing yeah. each other. Yeah. It's, oh shit. Yeah. That's insane. But dude, straight up, they say Atlanta is the biggest city for um catfish. So. Or at least just the surrounding area. Hey, try that shit up. I will eat it all yeah. day. Yay. But really, no, really catfish. I've been watching a lot of catfish, catfish. in the past couple of weeks with Devin. Show's good. Good. Because you just like every episode, Wait, like, dude, what it, the fuck is this dude gonna do? Are they up to like? Is it a new season? Bro, is this like cheaters or what? Seasons. What? And they got like twenty episodes a season. Oh, I'm like, oh, are there of? really this many crazy stories? I'm the, and I'm like, bro, like the next season has to suck. We're on season same three right now. It's just like. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, it's super it's entertaining. It's just consistently just crazy people. That's awesome. So entertaining. Sounds like quarters then. No. It's a train wreck you just can't stop watching, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like it's a train wreck, wreck where you get like, into the lady's oh, house. Quarters and she's is like, actually sad, though. <laughs> but when you watch sad. it, when you it's watch so Catfish, sad. it's like, when, like animals are being killed because oh, they yeah. can't oh, find that them. Is like, the under word under but dude, it's basically like that's why I stopped watching horror. When was you the one where the lady had like dead cats, cats there, and yeah. like the de- cat, the live cats were eating the dead cats, and I was like, oh, okay, I no, can't do this. damn, that sucks. Yeah. But basically, catfish Shots when you binge, it's like a three-hour train wreck that you just keep, keep looking. I'm about at. to get back on this show because of you, dude. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I dude, like, bro, <laughs> this episode was lit. <laughs> but like, every like, you know. Of course, we have Hulu. We don't have any commercials. But like each time they like end it to where you know where the commercial is about to start, you're just like, no fucking way. <laughs> and then you get to the next, next like you know after that commercial break, and you're like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> this is insane that this person's doing this. Or like, dude, there's one. There's legit a dude that legitimately thought he was talking to Katie, Katie Perry. Oh yeah, we watched that. Hold on, hold on. Spence, some Spencer dude. What? He literally, and you're like, dude, this guy's insane. Like, he believed it. He believed it, and you're like, 100%. bro, that's insane. And then like, it gets after the commercial break, and they talk to him, and, they, and they're like, this is what we found out type stuff. And he's like, dude, I still believe she's, it's her. And you're like, dude, how the fuck? And he's like, I mean, yeah, I even, I evidence, even got this. Like and he opens not. it up, and it's a fuck. He's like, this was my grandma's ring, and he's like, I replaced the diamonds and put like a more expensive oh sapphire in it. God. And you're like, no fucking. No way! He really thinks Qu- he's talking to Katy Perry. Question and then though, he like they find the phone number that it's under, and it's like under this certain name, and like they have the Facebook profile and the Twitter profile of this person. He's like, nah, it's still Katy Perry. Then he meets the girl. <laughs> okay, he that's what I want to know. Girl. So it is a girl though. Yeah, because yes. I was meets- gonna say, th- I'll, I'll, oh, like, there goes I'll, a guy. Be yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, like. He meets the girl and she's like, "Yeah, I mean, I was just a big Katy Perry fan, and you know." He's like, "Answer me this question: 
what are what are the three names we're gonna give our kids? And it's like she names two of them. And she's like, I can't remember the other one. And and they're like, well, that's good enough. He's like, no, nah, man, he didn't. She she, she, she got her. the first two it's right, not her. but like she didn't get the the, the, the last one. I'm like, bro, he what was in the denial fuck? so bad. So like all this shit happens, and like he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was her. And then uh, they do like the recap after, at the end of the episode, like a month later, two months later, three months later, and they see like how they're doing. You know, hey, you still talking to him and stuff like that. And she, uh, he talked. They talked to him first. He's like, yeah, I'm, you know, 100 percent sure it wasn't her. You know, moving on in my life. And all that. They're like, cool. Talk to you later. And then they uh, talk to her, and she's like, yeah, I got an email from him like a couple of days after that, and he was literally talking to the email like it still was KDP. He was like, yeah, I went to like England. And met this girl that said that uh, she was you and all that type of stuff. And I'm like, he still thinks. And they go back and he's like, no, that was like, you know, I was still investigating at that <laughs> point. He's like, but, you know, at this at this point, I'm 100% sure that it's not her. I'm like, bro, this dude's, this dude's crazy. Yeah. This dude's insane. Serious to know. That's some serious, like, fandom right there. But, dude, it's entertaining, man. It's entertaining. Have y'all been I, keeping I, up with a... Uh... Hanson vs. Predator lately? No. <laughs> bro. What's, what's the latest? Bro, yeah. Bro. This shit is getting wild. <laughs> I finally got to the point where, like, I like some of these crazy fucking Dude, things. okay, so the thing about Catch, Catch a Predator was, like, it was so, like, it's sad because, like, these guys are, like, actual predators. Yeah. Hanson vs. Predator is just, like, regular dudes who just happen to go there. Like, there was this one dude. Just he just stumbles into the house like, oh, he's like, oh shit! I thought this was my house. No, 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 sir! You came here, fuck, little boy. Like, no. I didn't rape her. I just my my penis fell into there repeatedly. She told me to stop. I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I bad balance. I'm like, dude, I mean, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You know, you just happen balance. to slip. And it you happens. Your penis, it, it, it happens skirt, because the person and, and, your, and your boner is just like they kind of. Okay. You have a hole in your pants. Hey, no, no, no. It does just happen. But it just happens because the dude goes, I'm going to rape her. <laughs> like, like there it doesn't two... just happen because of <laughs> some circumstances. No, the circumstances, the dude chooses to put his dick into a woman that doesn't want to have sex with him. <laughs> I guess that's considered rape. I, I mean, you know. No, that's what I'm He's saying. Like, oh, yeah, but yeah. it doesn't just happen. I mean, on this show, they don't even have to do that. No, that's the thing. It's just as long as you contact the girl with intent to. With like, intent, yeah. This is dude who was in the Marine Corps. So they stop him. I haven't watched it. So they're no, like, I mean, yeah. they always yeah, they stop him. They usually oh, they say, like, so, hey, so it's not cases of people like. No, no, yeah, they, they know. No, like, they, like, okay, so. So give me a scenario. Okay, like, so, okay, like I was saying, this is dude who was in, in the Marine Forces, right? Retired, everything. He was just chatting to the girl. Uh-huh. She was like, I think, 12 or 11. It was, yeah. it was really it was really nasty. Oh. Yeah. And he's like, I want to fuck you. No, no, he was like, I want you to be my slave, princess. And it, was, it was like this whole like master slave like thing. Like Leia, like Leia, dude. Come on. I mean, if it's two consenting adults <laughs> and you want that like 50 shades that's, BDSM Yeah, that's, of course, that's fine. Okay, but like you you're talking to a 12-year-old girl. That's, that's and right. eventually he was like, you know what? You're 13. It's not going to happen. Da, da. So the cops were like, well, <laughs> I, I got you. You ain't fourteen. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so eventually the cops were like, well, that's that's still intent. You know, that still shows that he was he was asking for sex for a minor. Blah, blah. They gave this man twenty years. But wait, 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 wait. hold up, though. But, but not even showing up just for talking to the chick. Damn. But I mean, but he said though. Okay, wait, wait. Did he was he already assuming that she was young? And then well, no, pulled they, out when he found out that she was no, way no, no. too young. No, no, no. Okay, so what happened is they off the bat they tell him how old you are, like they, how old they are, like oh I'm thirteen or oh, I'm eleven, da da. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, usually what happens is like, oh you're you're way too young. Then they leave, but they come back like I see you're still on here. That's how, and they start talking to him. Oh, and then later on he's like, you know okay. what? I changed my mind, da da. But it's already, that's already too late at that point. They don't have to come to the house anymore. They can Damn. get him. <laughs> it just reminds me of South Park. I'm six inches. Sorry, I don't talk to midgets. <laughs> that's Dude, still one of the have you best read the- jokes. Oh, my God. Okay. Type in to catch a predator chat logs. Bro, the funniest shit you will ever read. Guarantee it. I mean, Bro, is it funnier than uh, like r slash Tinder chats? Ooh, Tinder, ooh. Ch- Tinder, Tinder chat is pretty bad. R slash Tinder is pretty funny. Man. Yeah, R slash Tinder is pretty funny. No, it's just <laughs> some of those people just like they say some wild things. Or sometimes I'm like, bro, I wonder if like they actually fucked because like this okay, guy. But dude, like imagine that, but catfish. Like that's catfish, oh, really. Okay. But like it's like no, I've been talking. Like there's some like yeah, I had this internet like, this internet girlfriend for like three years. I never spoke to him. Like like voice Damn, or bro. I never voice or uh, um I, like Face Skyped chat, him. Yeah. You know, and I'm like. What? 
what? Since then, you're you, not how, really dating how that How do you person? do that? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the that's the issue. Dude, it's the you new know? generation, man. The, the new well, that's generation. why the catfish is the thing. It's, it's like, dude, like, these are kids that literally were born into this Could you stuff, imagine what so? catfishing will be in 20 years? <laughs> VR, I mean, yeah, yeah, like virtual reality. <laughs> yeah. Look how sexy I am. Look at this. Look at yeah. this body. It's really like a 400 pound. You, you find out the person you're in love with is like an AI that's just. Like, what's that? Bro, messing her. with you? Her? Damn. No, 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 no. I, I want to see her. I, I just see realized her so what bad. VR would be like. I mean, it'd probably get more advanced later. But the way I Xbox see it enough? is imagine no, if you were just talking like to somebody the whole time like, and they were just wearing a Snapchat filter. <laughs> that, that would so <laughs> suck. That's, like, that's not what you look like. <laughs> yeah, you got like dog ears and a dog mouth. I remember. But, right. um, yeah, what were you saying? Okay, so I forgot the name of this fucking movie. But uh, it's just like this real world city with real people. Uh-huh. But they have like a chip in their brain. And the people at home. Is it with Bruce them. Willis? I don't remember. No, it's, it's a Bruce Willis movie. Uh, hold on, what? hold on. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about. And they control him from what was this fat dude. It's to stay home. Oh, safe. bro, I know what you're and talking about. And he's pretending to be this hot girl. No, no, bro. Nathan, you're probably thinking of a good movie. Gabe is talking about Gamer. the... Yes, he's the shitty movie Gamer. Gamer. Yeah. That's it. Oh, oh, yeah, that's that's it. Dude, yeah. No, they use, no, that's the movie to where, like... The it's dudes criminals, you watch, yeah. they use criminals instead of having death row. Yeah, people control them for like games. No, I don't oh, yeah. That's a good movie. No, but gamer, bro, bro, gamer is such a shitty bro. movie. Yo, 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 so bro. Like the trailer, that's I was like, bro, this is dope. And then I watched the movie, I was like, this is nothing like the trailers. Yeah, it was nothing. No, it's like, like a fat trailers. dude like dunking like a whole waffle into yeah. syrup, and he's like, oh. yeah. and, and he's like, and the, and, and the game where he's like a hot bitch. Yeah, bro, I like how we're so communicated that you know what I'm talking about. Bro, why do I know what you're talking about? Because. We sat, we sat at a lunch one. table together for a year. You talked oh, about this yeah, movie. Bruce Willis and then in the I never talked about this movie. <laughs> right, yes, but, dude. But wait, listen to this. This is uh, Surrogates with Bruce Willis in 19, I never saw that. Or 2009. It. Set in a futuristic <laughs> world where humans live in isolation and interact through surrogate robots. Oh, I've seen that movie too. Yeah, that so movie's that movie's a lot better good. than a uh, gamer. Dude, a gamer's not bad. Hey, yeah, it is. Bro, gamer That's is bad really movie. bad. I stopped watching Watch it, it again. I gotta, okay, I gotta rewatch the <laughs> gamer. Yeah, I stopped watching it. It was bad. Bro, honestly, I could not. It was also that movie weird. Movie. It's yeah, it's really yeah. weird and bad. like it wasn't just like bad. It was like this is getting weird. Oh. Yeah, because you remember the fat the fat dude you're talking yeah. about who played as a hot chick. He would just let the hot chick just bang everybody. Every dude, yeah. And then and you're just like you're literally just watching like you're it, if it was like you know. Like what, CG home, or real. something? Oh, bro, it's nothing like PlayStation Home. PlayStation <laughs> Home, it was just like, hey, girl, you sexy. Let's start dancing. And then everybody was just dancing. You're like, all right, cool, bye. Right, cool. <laughs> let, me, let, me go, let me go wait in a queue to go play pinball. Bro, and play. you're like, queue out of like 100 people. And you're like, fuck, dog. When is this guy going to stop playing pinball? Oh, wait, he doesn't have to stop until he, d- he wants well, to Let's go stop. watch trailers to the movie theater that take forever to buffer. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, some piece PlayStation Home. No, I hope they're like bringing the 30, it back. To like the with, 30 with people who are playing it by the end of it. I played the shit out of it. <laughs> Yo, also, guys- shout out to uh, the Grand Tour. It came out this year. Uh, yeah. You know, the dudes from Top that. Gear uh, oh, left dude, yes, with Amazon. Um, hey. I've watched the first three episodes. Dude, the Ashton Martin. Dude, it's it's better on. than Top Gear. Oh, sweet. Um, I hope it is so. That he's voice well, can they, come they back. They never be themselves more. more. They can be themselves more. I've seen more. Top Gear just because of Aaron. Because okay. Aaron going, the Ashton Martin, DB. You know? So I had, yeah, to, hear, I had to hear this guy's so voice. Dude, that's me. I'm like sitting there like, I was like, dude, this show's going to be dope. I'm watching it. I'm having a good time. And then the first episode, they're like, uh, James is like, yeah, I get the, I get to pick my car. And it's an Aston Martin DB12. And I'm sitting there like half chub. And it's like, dude, it goes full, man. It goes full. Yeah, Devin's like, what are you, are you watching porn over there? I'm like, no, nah, I'm watching that Aston Martin. He goes, he goes, no, I'm watching Britain's top of the line car. Yeah. <laughs> This guy over here getting an accent, but uh, dude, speaking of cars, what's up? The new Fast and Furious trailer dropped. Oh, Fast Eight, Fate, the Fate, Fate of the Furious. Of the Furious. But see, I haven't seen Fast Seven yet, so I can't watch the Fast Eight. Trailer. I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of. I don't know how I feel but about this. Fast Seven was pretty good though, right? Fast Seven was yeah, it was, great. It was good. Fast Eight, on the other hand, <laughs> see, I thought there was also that be name a Fast is 8. horrible. Yeah, Fate yeah. of the Furious is stupid. Someone said it should be F Eight for Fate. How they t- like how you type it? Oh fuck you! It should be the Fate. Fuck off. I think it's the hashtag. <laughs> the hashtag is F8, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But see, I thought they weren't going to make any more movies. No, they, they do. Are you oh, kidding bro, me? Oh, bro, they now it's like three, three more movies. movies. Yeah, they're oh. going to run us into the ground, bro. Yeah. Damn. I'm down. I love you. You know those yeah. movies make like so they're 800, not even... 800 to like 1.1 1. 1 billion. They're nowhere near being done. Damn. I think six made a so billion. So they're just like... They literally just I mean, popped the squad on my boy like, Paul Walker's story wise, But it still looks entertaining Yeah, it looks fun as hell. The car stuff's going to be dope. So you haven't seen a trailer. 
No, I haven't. Uh, do you mind if I just tell you what it, like what the? But I mean, I, uh, is, yeah, is yeah, it gonna yeah, spoil yeah. seven? Because I still haven't seen seven. No, we'll, it's we'll not gonna spoil seven. We'll oh, then you can tell me. Yeah. After oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm down. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll just watch yeah, Dunkirk. Yeah. All right, two more TV shows I want to shout out real quick. Go ahead. Okay. First one, The Night Manager. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's a uh, it's like a six part uh, mini series that I watched on Amazon, but I think it aired on AMC. But it's Tom Hiddleston and Hugh Laurie. Yes, it's my dad really told cool. me about it. It's really my cool. My dad told me he, it, what movie he said it was like uh, the Nightman or Night Manager. No, Night, Night Manager. Manager. <laughs> That's what I think of the Night Manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Hugh Laurie, and you said who? Tom Hiddleston. Yeah, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, uh what's his name from Loki? Thor? Loki. Yeah, he plays yeah. Loki. The new James I almost Bond. was. No, he got who's rumored. He was yeah thought to be which oh, because of know. this show, like you could see how it'd be awesome. Yeah, that's my my dad but said he was so. It's like, like a spy like show, espionage. Yeah, yeah. And, so like yeah. that's what it was. He said he because the rumors were coming out that he was gonna be the next Bond, and my dad's like, eh. Have and they announced then he, the next Bond yet? No. Okay. But then I he, think it's gonna be Idris Elba. No. No. That was all rumor too. Oh, that, really? Yeah. I thought that was like actually. No, happened. that was a rumor before uh, Daniel Craig. Yeah, that was before. That was a rumor before Spectre even came out. Yeah, never mind. Um, no. So my dad's like, eh, I don't know if he could be James Bond. He said it after watching the Night Manager. He said he was hundred percent con- convinced he could totally be. Yeah, a he could pull Bond. off. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then the other is Luke Cage. Yeah, I don't watch Luke Cage. Luke Cage. It, gets, watch it f- gets bad, like, or worse towards like the end of it. Yeah. But it's still overall a good show. But the definitely the beginning half is like. Fantastic. No, yeah, Luke Cage is real good, um, but I still, I still say Jessica Jones is the best of one of those Marvel TV shows. Just because she fucks all the time. No, she doesn't. That's why I hate the show. Wait, for real? That she fucks all the yeah, time? Yeah, like it's like fucking get on with the story. Like I don't want to <laughs> see her fucking Luke Cage every five seconds. <laughs> Yo, and then her friend fucking the it cop. Gets like that's I don't what, give that's, a that's, shit. That's why I got annoyed with like. Oh, face. see, I, I barely whoa, remember whoa, any of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We already had this conversation. No, go back. I mean, we're not the, damn, up. you know what though? Now that you they bring that up, barely, Greg, they barely. I feel like you're right though. No, that's like that's like two or three episodes. Watching the fucking like CBS TV show. It's him slowly going to madness because you could totally hold that. Dude, I just focused so much. Every time Kilgrave was on there, I was like, oh shit, what is he gonna do now? What is he gonna do now? But no, you're right. There's yeah. a good Wait, chunk of that show where it's just her and Luke Cage <laughs> banging or going out on dates or her friend with the cop. And then she's like, I'm not going to be with the cop. Then I'm with the cop. Damn. Damn. This show sucks. Damn. 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 <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> sucks. I still fuck with Jessica Jones, though. Even though Greg just slapped me with some realness that I never noticed until now. Can you repeat what he just said? Oh, that it, there's a lot of fucking in Jessica Jones. Yeah, there's Jones. a lot of fucking. I, I totally forgot. I love every second of it. Okay, <laughs> word. You, you guys want to stop it here, though? Nah, we're going long. We're going to go long? Keep okay. Going. Yeah. Well, I like the fucking scenes in Breaking Bad because Jesse was always fucking, like, prostitutes and shit. <laughs> I always like that part. Wait, is that really, like, a thing in it's Breaking Bad? It, it's, a, it's, it's, it's one episode, but yeah. Because I don't ever remember him fucking a prostitute. Yeah, it's in a one lady episode. of the night. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> now, music, guys. We talked about... Switch gears. Frank Ocean. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll we don't we yeah, shouldn't last for too long record. on this one because we already kind of did this. But oh, I'm waiting for my record. What um, record? My Frank Ocean record. Dude, I can't wait. Oh, yeah, which one? Black Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need it. Oh um, yeah, dude. That way, that's still not here. No. Damn. I don't even know if it's been pressed. You ordered it straight <laughs> from Frank Ocean. <laughs> it might not even be pressed. Already. That happens, dude. Sometimes you just pre-order it and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna press this in like March." I'll get it like next year. But dude, well, there's Damn. only a, there's only a handful of areas you can press them, and that and sometimes. Like they're like, hey, we can't make a record for you until That's how it goes February. Cause See, I didn't know it was like pay to order type things. Like you pay, like you pay them kinda and like, like all right, well, cool. We're funny, does pre- it? They're like, hey, we're doing this shirt, a limited run of this shirt. Like, we're only gonna print as many as we sell. Oh, okay. You know? See, I didn't know that's how records work. I thought they like they have like a stock, and once the stock runs out, that's it. It depends. It d- oh, yeah, I was okay. about to say like, you know, you're a Pink Floyd record's always just gonna be in and out of press. Like they're just gonna that- keep doing press. It's like books. That totally makes sense, though, now, because I always wondered, because, for instance, when Action's first album came out, he had a record for the for the album, and I was like, bro, how, like, because you guys always tell me that it's limited. I was like, bro, how the fuck is Action getting a record for his album? With this? Yeah, because it's like, oh, I'm only doing like 500. Oh, okay. It's not, that totally makes See, sense. See, I have the Contortionist too. album language. He yeah. only made 500 of them. Oh, okay. And then they're, they're just, that came out in 2014, and they're just now doing a second pressing. Because oh, it's just yeah. didn't been demanded enough. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean that that totally makes sense now. Though, yeah. see, I thought it was like a stock or something. But something like Jack White's Lazaretta, you can walk into any record like store that's gonna be there because it's you know they've sold like sixty, seventy, eighty thousand copies. And he can yeah. press his own if he wants. Oh yeah, I mean he has his own stuff in Nashville, right. so yeah, hey. he can do that. But uh, talking about music, 
So we had a we had a t- uh, music topic top five albums the last this past year a few weeks ago. Was that end of November? Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's before Star Wars came out actually. Yeah. So it was before Thanksgiving. It was the one before Thanksgiving. So I've had two albums come out that are so good that they're they're now in my top five. But I also forgot one uh, for that conversation that I'm also adding in there. So I'm just gonna go through mine real quick. Uh, Periphery 3 still on there. Amazing okay. Metal Records. So if you like that, go mm. listen to that. Shout out. Uh, Survives on there. Okay. Um, yes. And I will say, yes, yes, that album's so good. And Gabe's going to disagree because he didn't really like it, but one of the other albums on here is fighting for my number one spot for that one. Still don't know yet, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so Survive. But I forgot to talk about Glass Animals, How to Be a... Uh, is it How to Be a Human Being? Yeah, it's How to Be a Human. Or is it How to Be a Real Human Being? I can't remember. You'll know what it is if you once you look. I thought you showed me the cover and it says "How to Dude, Be a Human Being." I think it's "How to Be a Human Being." Dude, that album is so good. There's not one bad song on that album, and like almost anybody could listen to it and like it. My my like my whole family loves it. Like my mom keep kept putting it on repeat. My dad was putting it on repeat. Devin's putting it on repeat. Even my sister, that's like really hard to like get to like music, was like, "God, this is fucking good." Um, they have such a like each second of that album is literally just perfected. They're like one of those. They're you can tell they're one of those bands that just sit there and be like, you know, we're gonna keep tweaking this beat until it's I'm one hundred percent on it. Um, so is it kind of more of a like indie pop? But they use like a lot of their hip hop and like yeah, trip-hop there's a lot of hip hop influence. influence. Yeah, a lot of. Hip-hop. I mean, that's how Glass Animals has always been. But I just yeah. didn't know if this was straying more. And it's into concept pop album too. So like each song is based off of people that they've met in their life hmm. that kind of fall under stereotypes. Cool, okay. cool, cool. So, like, you know, one of the songs is, like, some jock dude that, like, lives in his house, lives in his mom's basement. He doesn't do anything. Just except he just fucks and fucks chicks and does drugs. and Riveting. All that but the, the next... Life, but the, the next... Quite riveting. <laughs> no, dude, but it's interesting because it's how to be a human being. Like, yeah, each yeah. song is, like, completely different. And it's right. like... I mean, it does... A lot of the songs deal with drugs, but... I mean, think about it. That's how the world is. Like, this person's doing this type of drug for this reason, and this person's doing that and doing this for this reason. It's it's really cool because it's like, it's almost kind of like a documentary to where you're like observing, uh, like planet Earth like observes animals. Like, it's really cool because like they kind of just observed people and said, let's make a record about that. And it's really cool. Like each, it's like how each episode in a docu, like a TV documentary, is about this certain area in the world. It's like, nope, this is about this type of person. Is about that experience this certain thing, and it's really cool, and the lyrics are really cool. Um, but it's really cool how they make like meaningless lyrics meaningful, if that makes sense. Because it's really like every single it might sound like if you take it out of context, like, oh, why the fuck are they talking about this stupid ass like object in life? Um, but really, it's like, nope, that's kind of something that's important to this type of person. It relates back to the, the it relates to the, the to the person, yeah, to the conceptual uh thing of that record mm-hmm. so what's a one it's a really smart record when you look at it you know through that lens but it's also just catchy it's like one of the most catchiest i mean like even q digged it i don't think he i don't think q's the type of person that would sit there and like listen to this record by himself but he like you know he's so far up hip-hop and rap's ass that it's Shout you know, out the boy q one sometimes time. it's like oh dude like he actually like like uh vela maya he liked that vela maya song I mean, that's basically just like Mikasa. it's the same as like hip hop or rap. It's just the metal side of it. Like, oh yeah, there's a lot of similarities there. Oh, that's the thing is metal is very similar to yeah. hip hop, and a lot right. of people. I mean, so it's yeah, it's not that so bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I never really kind of put that two and two together, but it totally makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, I would say like, I mean, like Slayer's not going to be emotional, right, but right, like yeah. you know. Like metalcore, where it's more. It's like, dude, like fuck this fucking shit. Kind of rhythm. Fuck you, bitch. Like, there's and there's rap that's talking about like, hey, fuck this ass. Like, fuck this asshole that like ruined my life. And metal's like that too. Sure. Yeah, you got your more meaningless stuff. But guys, I know all you guys want to bring this up. We are all motherfucking star boys. I'm a motherfucking Bro, star boy. That album. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I am going to bring that. I am going to add that to my list, though. Perfection. Yeah. So good. Talk about pop. That's how you do pop. 18 songs. 18. All good. All yeah, hits. Yeah. Except all, all going to be colors. on the fucking radio. I'm not a big True Colors fan. Really? It, I love those. It, it, yeah. it's I'm a not a big Fossil Alarm fan. Oh, I love. Yeah, okay, see, fun. I hated Fossil Alarm when it first came out, and the more and more I listen to it, I love it. 
happened happen with Party Monsters. Is that oh, what a weird what Monster. a weird album. Like I was so like, oh my god, this album's not gonna be good. And then I listened to it all, and I watched his Mania video, which Luther King. That video is awesome. It's dope. It's very cool. I hope I, I hope he Monster. either does another one with that with his next album. Or honestly, if somebody else steals that idea and does something like that, with or like he a whole just bunch does more songs. for Starboy in and of itself, and does like oh, more songs. Hey. Starboy Part Two. Like, instead yeah. of doing Part Two, dude, how dope would it be if he goes? I'm not making music videos anymore. I'm just doing like this. How dope would that be? I mean, I would personally dude, it was dope. like that. It was a lot. like 12 minutes, like total badass. I mean, the new trend is visual albums, right? Beyonce yep. did that. Mm-hmm. And, yep. Uh, Frank Ocean did that. Yeah, so doing music yeah. videos. I'd love to the, like. Hey, we're gonna put three. Kanye did it. Is it gonna be yeah. all, who? Yeah. Who? Kanye did it first. Kanye oh yeah, well, Runaway. Yeah, Trendsetter. So Starboy's on there, but uh, also, um, I know Gabe's not. But hey, uh, hey, I, hey, I hey, hey. It on the... everybody, everybody, everybody. Uh, this is the one that's fighting for I my just, number one. I keep one trying to. Dude. Hey, dude. Some some I, there's some stuff that I like or you yeah. like that I, it's just like dude I can't get into that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Childish Gambino dropped uh, Awaken My Love, uh, the beginning of December. And it is so fucking good. A retro soul funk album. Not one time does he rap on it. Nope. Not once. I was expecting to, but... Man. Nah, dude. I listened to the <clears> first two songs, and I was like, it would totally be weird if he, like... Because if it was, like, an 18-track album, I'd be like, okay. But it was, like, what, 11 tracks, I think? Mm-hmm. Something like yeah. that? I'm like, nah, dude, this is an album. This is a album album. Like, he has, like... Not a concept, but, like... Not a concept album, but, like, a concept of what he is it, that's he what has I was a very specific around. sound like sound he that he's trying to yeah, approach the whole album um, like for the whole album yeah um i was telling you nathan that for me it was one of the more like challenging albums for me yep. to listen to because for one the vocals at times can Are be weird. just downright like strange California. yes yeah like just, California. they're so weird <laughs> she must have fucking lost her mind <laughs> 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 um and then at the same time like i also wasn't expecting this kind of sound for the whole record yeah, and, uh, it's not... even with having listened to the first two singles, like yeah, there's songs yeah. like California, you're just like, oh, I was not expecting that. Right, right. So, um, I mean, on my first listen, I wasn't like a super fan of it, uh, honestly. Yep. But then on my second listen, I grew to appreciate it yeah. a lot. I've probably um, listened to it like 25 times at this point. Yeah, it is so good to me. Like I absolutely adore it. It's definitely and experimental. Like, I mean, yeah, but each time I listen to it, there's something else I hear in each song. I'm just like, dude, that's so cool. Like I didn't hear that at all, or like, or I heard it, but it like I really didn't like like experience it. It's definitely something you have to be in a certain mood for too. Oh yeah, it's, it's like, definitely something. It's you don't... not something you're just gonna put on when you're like, I want to listen to a hype album right now. Yeah, but the thing is, is <laughs> definitely amazing, not the right record. But how on. amazing is it that Gambino could have totally just went, I'm gonna make 18 bangers like I did with because the internet, or not bangers. I mean, I mean you know what? Out, make another he album puts like out the mixtape, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not cool, a big, Kauai. Kauai, yeah. I I like Kawaii. I don't like the mix. I still think Kauai, like I I still I mean I haven't heard his new well, album. Stone Mountain. But I still think Kawaii Stone and Stone Mountain, Mountain is like the best thing Gambino's done. <laughs> but I still need to listen to his new album before I can honestly judge. Open your mind, dude. Just give it. A, oh, I mean, just oh, like, give I'll, it a I'll listen, listen to it. And then but I'm telling you though, just because of how I view Gambino, like I like that album will be the same way I see Mac Miller's Divine Feminine, where I'm like, mm. dude, this is a real cool twist on like somebody who I thought could only do this, but then did this. But at the same time, I wouldn't say Divine Feminine is Mac Miller's like best, best album. Role. Yeah, I think he did, so. but like, what did Divine do that the other ones did? Was it's it still rap? Thing, I mean, is he still raps? But it's all like chill. Very yeah, it's all like really fun okay. and stuff like okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah very. Fun. Yeah. See, I would th- I'd say he, it's all he, about sex. Gambino, yeah, even, that's, yeah, that's what it is when you. <laughs> I mean, break you it can down. already tell that I'm a this. This makes sense, but like Gambino totally went even further with that. Yeah, because oh, like, I mean, this I is a this is a band basically. This isn't just Gambino anymore. Like this is super out of a comfort zone for anybody. Oh, like who, any anybody who listens artist, to Gambino, really. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like I this still... is like Beyonce. If Beyonce had said, "I'm making a I don't know, a heavy metal record," not saying like I'm saying like that's something you would have never expected. I mean, I still got to give it a listen. I'll probably listen to it while playing um, some Titanfall. No. But, um, it's not no, that type of record. No, no, it's, no that'll, dude. That'll, I'm, that'll I'm being serious. Just it's one of those. Put some headphones on. Like, that's what I always do. Dude, close your eyes and put that. Put it on. Okay, it's not that it. type of album. Wait, how long is it, though? I can't chill. 40 minutes. It's not that long. Yeah. It's real short. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. It's only 11 songs. Wait, damn. Why is it only like 40 minutes, then? Because when you listen to the song, you go, look at how much he put into the song. Oh, okay. The, the best thing about the album is the instrumentation, hands down. 
Oh, dude, there's solos on there that like David Gilmour from Pink Floyd would be impressed by. That's what I'm saying. Like the guitar work. Yeah, the the, 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 the zombie work. guitar. I mean, uh, uh, the, yeah, the drumming. Guitar. All yeah. of it is like. Every every single aspect of a mu- the mu- of every musician in this album gets the time gets their own time to shine. He all, he literally has an instrumental song. It's on not it. like his vocals are like way up here and all the rest of the music's down. It's here. a band. It's more than just like a beat and then like his vocals. Like it's in all a honesty, ton of dude, dude, he could have honestly, honestly just called this like Gambino and the blah blah blah. Yeah, like he could have just said, "This is my band," you know. Like, uh, I, mean, I still gotta give it a listen yeah. before I can. When you, when you like, judge. if you see the VR expanse for me and your mama, you see she he has like four or five like uh, uh, background singers, a drummer, two guitarists, a bassist, um, a couple other people on horns. Like, this is a real like instrumental album. Oh, okay. Um, you know, and the lyrics, you know, lyrics are good. Like, Baby Boy is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, you also got to realize, like, Gambino has a kid. Go into that knowing that he, he just had a kid. And you can tell a lot of it's about that. So, How about you, Greg? You got to revise your list? Or are you good? Uh, I'm going to shout out Pine Grove. They're a really cool, uh, like, indie indie kind of band. Okay. Um, yeah. J. Cole put out a record. It's all right. I don't think Still it's as good as anything. Huh? You heard it? Yeah. It's, it's good. good. Okay, so it is it's good. It's very jazzy, There's... very uh, low-key. I really want. Can't wait to check out uh, Friday. That's the one that you played. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna wait. Uh, it's not bad. Probably. I mean, I work tomorrow. I keep saying that I'll, I'll listen to it while I work, but I end up listening to too many podcasts, podcasts. while I work. That's what I do. Too. Was it Jake Cole that he said finally announced that uh the collab between him and Kendrick is real? <sighs> Bro, they, Kendrick they collabs keep, with everybody. They so, keep yeah. te- no, no, like, no, like an official Kendrick. Album. Oh, like an album? Yeah. yeah. Ever since Kendrick Dude, and Cole, I just Bert, want that Gambino Chance album. That's fine. Yeah, I would love yeah. that. Is it, but that's not even real, though, right? Probably not. It's just whenever they both find time. No, but I thought J. Cole said that, like, yeah, it's, it's really happening. Oh, was that was that recently? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know. But, dude, I, I hope so. But at the same time... Because <coughs> when you put from, it on Black Friday, dude, that, that got me hyped. Dude, uh, that got me so hyped. But what's so stupid is that he teased something that never even happened. Because you remember, cause in the, at the end of his version, he goes, when I, he goes, this January, when I fuck around and drop... Yeah. He doesn't say what he's gonna drop because he doesn't drop anything. Yeah. <laughs> Happens. No, but his uh, "For Your Eyes Only" it's good. It has like, oh, that's a pretty. Uh, like, I don't think anything like stood out on it. Yeah, it's like really super there was not a bad song, but like there were forgettable songs. Yeah, yeah. And then there was the standouts were only good, not great. See, oh the, man, I was expecting this album to be like pretty high up there. No, it's yeah, like, I mean, like he's, he came like, out, like he came out seven. so hard. He's it's still a seven. He's still legit though. Like, it, oh rapping, yeah, but that's like, what I'm his saying. flow is awesome. His but they're not bad. It's weird though because it's it, it's just like an album. Yeah, it's just so it's, how, not, it's not gonna be your favorite album of the year. How would you compare it's it to not that? Gonna be your worst? 2014 uh, Forest Hill Drive. I like oh, 2014 for, way oh, more. Way way better. more. Okay. Yeah. Damn. That's a lot better. Okay. Put but the instrumentation, <laughs> no. I mean, like, I'm still listening like, to it, guys. Uh, that's that Immortals really good. Uh, the f- it starts uh, the uh, the thing that sucks about it is it starts off better than it ends, at least for me. Damn. But then again, I'm not gonna well, lie to you. Closer song Most is Cole gorgeous, albums though. are like that. I have to re-listen yeah. to it. Yeah. Like 24, yeah. kind of yeah. all the good stuff are in the first half, and the yeah. second half isn't bad, but it's not like it's what not album? like G O M D. Yeah, I didn't or like no at Taylor the end. two CDs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What album are you talking about? I'm talking about 20. I'm talking about like just all Cole albums in general. Oh, okay. Start off a lot better than they end. Same thing with Born Sinner. Voluminati still one of the oh, dopest bro, rap. Like, rap. rap. I, have to to, I have to listen to it again. But he said the last song on uh, For Your Eyes Is Only is really good. Oh, okay. But, but um, it tells a story. Oh, okay. Cool. Maybe I just wasn't listening. Of a boy to named the, Cole at, at, at that point because I listened to it just straight through. Uh, when I was driving home one day, yeah, the album's and, about uh, him and then like a friend of his that got involved in like drugs and gang shit and then died. But he had damn. a daughter and he wanted to tell her this certain oh, wow. message, so Cole tells the message through a song. Oh, yeah, man. that's actually pretty dope. Yeah. I got, now, yeah. I, now I have that's to cool. listen to this album. Yeah, the closer for sure like, is, is he, really good. I'm gonna listen to it regardless. No, yeah. I mean I'm, I'm gonna but listen yeah, to it eventually. The bell tolls the first one. Like it was really dope though because it starts off like, and you hear that the jazz and you're like, okay, like that's a cool sample. And then the the trumpet just starts doing other stuff, and you're like, "Whoa, this isn't a sample! Like he actually got somebody to come in to Damn. actually record the trumpet, and it's re- actually really good." Damn. 
I gotta check so like out. instrumentally wise, it's good. It's just some of the songs just like they don't like like Immortal is really good. Like I like it a lot. It's something I would I, I'll put on you know every once in a while, but it's not like like dude, I have to stop you right now and like let's listen to this right now. Mm-hmm. It's just something like you know I would put in a playlist and you'd be like yeah it's good. You'd be like, oh, but yeah, it doesn't do like what I'm trying to say. It doesn't do anything like new. So Top it's just more J. Cole. He doesn't change the game. Yeah, <laughs> it's just more J. Cole. <laughs> well, that's the thing is like how he announced this album. Hey, it's coming out next week. You're like, oh shit. I mean, Drake shit, did the same dude. thing. But and he also did but the same thing with, like, with there was a lot of hype for views drives. before it. No, not views. I'm talking about um his mixtape. What was it? If you're, oh, reading, if you're this, reading this, is already too late. Now he he literally oh, announced did, it. Did like, he? Yeah, oh, he's okay. like it's coming. But I mean, he had to. He was trying to leave cash money. Yeah, that album did the same thing. At least from what I remember. The first half of that album, banger, banger, yeah. banger, banger. And, like, I like the second half of uh it, It's definitely this, more but mellow. It, but it's more, yeah, it chills out, and you're like, huh? I, I mean, because it's just, he throw, he those are all throwaway tracks, though, yeah. at yeah. that point. I mean, honestly, the whole album is a throwaway track. He's just He was literally just threw something together Boy, to, to, shit, get, a, dude, to get out still of Still did an EP. Yeah, he should have just done an good. EP and yeah. released the first couple tracks and went, dude, this is the best EP I've listened to in a while. <laughs> oh, no, but I mean, like, he couldn't he could release an EP, though. He had he had to release an album to get out of uh, get out oh, of to get time. out of the yeah. that's right okay that was good I want I want to shout out coloring book real quick I want a chance to win all of the Grammys <laughs> shove it in Kanye <laughs> ain't gonna say like, shit about that album uh, chill, uh, he's man. gonna go <laughs> chill. Eh. I disagree my boy Kanye is uh, the only, yeah, I just, a traitor now yeah, I can't mess that boy Trump book. that's really, so weird like it? I dude I don't know what it is like I told Nathan like. I even I, I even like yeah, I know yeah. most people I will say that like they're like Chance fans, yeah, but they haven't heard like his first yeah, mixtape yeah, Ten Day. I like Ten Day. I really like Acid Rap, mm-hmm. and I was assuming Coloring Book was gonna like I knew Coloring Book wasn't gonna be like Acid Rap because he was hanging around too much I, with I, Kanye I and all these other people. But I don't know. It's just Coloring Book. I just most of the songs I can't get into. Yeah, it's a little bit too much for me. Yeah, I love Heartbeat. Heartbeat is one of my favorite songs. I mean, it's just fucking catchy as shit. Yeah, but, um, sorry. You're no, you're yeah. good. No, no, no. It's just so we're weird. Just talking that, about coloring that, book. That, <laughs> that like chance, you know, big, big, you know, uh, uh, album, or like you know, big follow up. And you're like, oh, dude, it's gonna be dope. And then you get Kanye, and you're like, dude, Life of Pablo is gonna be dope. Oh. And then those both come out, and it's like, just, okay, you're gonna mess. Is Life of Pablo this year? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. fuck Life of Pablo. Yeah. Oh, really though. But really, fuck that album. Not Kanye, man. I hope you get better. Bro, I remember it. listening to it, and I was like, I was like, this <laughs> sounds like the most unfinished album I've ever, I've ever heard. Wasn't he still like, and then working he was still on it working is. on <laughs> it. Yeah. But then he's like, yo, man, that's not the final version. I was like, are you then fucking why'd you serious, put it out? Kanye? <laughs> and then he's like, I'm never streaming this ever, only on whatever it's title, title. title. Fuck title, title exclusive forever. And you're like, well, shit. And then a month later, it pops up on my fucking like new music on iTunes, and I'm like, fuck Kanye, dude. <laughs> Seriously, man. He's going to a mental breakdown, dude. You can't blame him for this. You, you know, know, I'm not gonna say anything. Too weird. I said some shit on Facebook right before I figured out he had a lot of mental, like it was a mental breakdown, basically. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I feel sorry for the dude. And then he goes and fucking talks to Donald Trump. What's wrong with that? He's trying to change America. Yeah. Shout out. We'll to see PT. if he does, but. Bro, I saw the funniest picture of him. Let me show you. But um, but bro, cheers. we're talking. No. But we're literally talking about someone that like rants about Donald Trump and how, how if he did vote, he would have voted for him. Bro, you didn't vote. You should never talk about politics if you didn't vote. It's like Colin Kaepernick, dude. Like, and I don't. Yeah. And I and like taking knee one time. <laughs> yo, he's just like, this is my political stance. This is my political stance, and then he just doesn't vote for anybody. He's like, <laughs> he's like. <laughs> But he goes, he goes, <laughs> oh, what is it? Read, read it. He's looking to do the back. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody's like, what the fuck are they looking at? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do the back. He's like, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm too fucking late. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Colin Kaepernick. He's like, you know, I didn't vote for anybody because nobody was like, nobody who's running like, you know, really stood for me. I'm like, bro, third third party. Like, that's still better than not voting. Or right. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of what you think, you're like, that's still better than not voting. But, <sighs> teach his own, man. Teach his own. But I just think it's annoying that this dude's like, I'm trying to change. I'm like, well, you should have voted. 
Shout out the boy Kanye the West one time. I mean, Kanye Omari West. Had he oh, give, got his, had to use his government name. Jesus, rest in peace. But, but this is the best album in the world. But it's not done yet. <laughs> Would you? Uh, you want to hear what gets me mad though about that? Him still saying that album's not done yet. Is he still saying it's not done yet? I mean, a lot of people say that he's that he says it's still not done yet. But um, someone went was in the studio the with him. Edition. <laughs> the game of the year edition, <laughs> the album of the year edition. <laughs> but no, anyway. he's working on his. He's working on the. Uh, from what I, I assume, if he's still calling it Turbo Graphics, I think he still is. Yeah, he's working on that now because Did you see that quote unquote leaked track list. Oh no, yeah, but I saw the leaked track list and I saw the beats that he was working with too. And honestly, but at the same time too, if you hear the beats that he was working with before Pablo came out. That's dude. That's uh, I don't know. Kanye just tricks people because the beats he's working on, I'm like, oh shit, dude, is Kanye like, making a comeback? Because it literally is just like, it's like it's dope like this two minute beats. like dope beat. Yeah, you're like fuck, and then you get a four minute version of it on Life of Pablo, and nothing happens. Or it's just the same beat for four minutes. Or he's no progression you with no more parties in L.A. And you're like, oh fuck. It's straight Kanye's fire. going back to Kanye. And he's like, and then the rest of the album is just and like, and then you're yeah. like, yo, fuck my life has the weekend on it. And you're like, oh, dude, Kanye and the weekend, that has to be good. And you're listening to the, the song, and you're like, fuck, this is good. Fuck, this is good. And then it ends, and you're like, wait, where was any of the progression for that song? No it was way. literally just them like freestyling on the same beat yeah. for three minutes. And that's it. He, Musical genius, man. Yeah. No, the thing is, the generation. thing that's like <laughs> just sucks about Life of Pablo is he has a good beat, but he doesn't finish the song. He doesn't need to finish it. It's Kanye. Oh, okay. The music. I know you're itself. joking. I know you're I joking. It's abstract. It's just, like, it's just <laughs> abstract music. It's, it's, it's like you, we talked about in movies, dude. Dude, there's no, there's no need for finishing, dude. It's <laughs> uh, it's left to the listener's imagination how that song ended. Damn. Think okay. about it. What if what if honestly if that was was Kanye's plan for this album? I don't know. Like it's say. up to you. To, to figure out how this song ends, how this album ends. But it will be the deepest album of all time. No. Shout out to Kanye. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any other music, guys? Oh, no. I mean, I would like to uh, revise my list. Um, <laughs> so we can talk about games. We'll just talk about games in the next episode. All right. Okay, cool. I just want to uh, say... <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's getting there. Oh, wow. I don't think I included it last time. Definitely want to throw uh, Malibu by Anderson Pack. Uh, I still need to listen to this. Oh, bro. When you listen to it, so you see, I was about to listen to it, and then I saw the news that Dre had sa- signed him, and I was like, oh, shit, bro, because Dre barely signs anybody, and the last person he signed was Kendrick. Shout out to Kendrick. So, what are you talking about? Anderson Pack. Okay. Um, And then I heard his Malibu album, and I was like, oh, fuck, dude. This this is – see, I've, I, I can't – I can't say I've given Bruno Mars like a fair chance, but I've listened to most of his songs that are popular and I've listened to some other songs on his album. But Anderson Pack is what I wish Bruno Mars was. Mm. And uh, I love his Malibu album that came out this year. Um, also have to give a shout out to uh, what was that other album I just recently heard? Oh, Uzi Vert. Too, no, 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 no. Too High to Riot by my dude uh, Boss. Um... What is another? Oh, Starboy. We already talked. That's another revision on my list. I had oh, to throw yeah. Starboy up there. Starboy's fucking dope. Uh, <laughs> it's so good, man. Like, I just can't get over how good that album That's ended it, up being. It's just oh, it, incredible. It, Ray yeah, yeah. Saramund. Uh, the only <laughs> thing, I mean, literally, the only negative is, is <laughs> right? The only negative is True Colors. <laughs> yeah. True Colors, all right. It's not a bad song. It's, song, it's all right. Yeah. But, it's, I'm, but I'm saying, like, it's, this is something like me saying, like, hey, this is a 10 out of 10 uh, game. But there's still issues with it, and that's one of my issues. Like, you have to critique it. True. Um, so, He's like, the biggest if issue on that. Yeah. Straight up. No, the biggest <laughs> issue is future. Yeah, the biggest issue is Whoa, fucking future. No, dude, future makes that album. You're is honestly, that I love that. Album. You're honestly like, I looked it up online. A lot of people hated that fucking I like feature. That fu- I like that future feature. Everybody's like, <laughs> hey, that like future I said, feature. I, that future feature. <laughs> no, it's a future <laughs> double feature. Oh. Hey, like I said, I liked What a Time to Be Alive. All I know, and I all like, I know, all I know. And I like some future stuff. <laughs> but I can't mess with him in the what weekend. What the Bro, fuck sorry. was that verse? It Shout literally does. Future Hendrix one time. It sounds Shout like out. it sounds like the weekend put a different song in his headphones when he was rapping. <laughs> different beat. <Yeah. laughs> like, what? <laughs> it just 
doesn't even sound like the same song. Hey, bro, it just it's happens. like this, like really like tone piece like like weekend has tone pieces when he has these songs like this song this song's talking about this you know has this beat it has this sound and then features like y'all bitches fuck money get the titties on the bitches oh yeah and i'm like what no mention of titties in that whole entire track what what who does he always yes he does hold on who does he always he talks about throwing money on the floor and the money that was on the young metro no there's a nice one where he's talking about like jizz on jizz on the girl or something like that Let's see. Yo, shout out to Young Metro Boomin. What up? Yeah, Metro Boomin always making features beats. All of Bro, them. it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. When it's like Metro's like, I don't even trust myself. <laughs> <laughs> and features yeah. like, yo, who about shooting? Oh, let me get them lyrics. Go get them lyrics, boy. I got it, son. I got it. Anybody play any good games recently? Yeah. Other than Titanfall, Metal Gear, nah. I gotta pick up. I'm picking up Titanfall this weekend, bro. I'm playing through Doom. Please. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I've been waiting please. for it. I gotta pick up PlayStation yeah, please Plus. Please get too. on Titanfall. Yes, right, dude. I'm me not. and Greg were just wrecking. We're we wrecking had, everyone. Right, I'm, I'm Here we go. This weekend. Lamborghini make you crip walk. Yep. Shout out. Good I'm truck. splashing off with my side hoe. Good oh, yeah. A, full of these medicals. Bitches got several. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Um, this is this. Let him finish. Let him finish. She we are we already talked about this. She eat the dick up like it's an <laughs> edible. <laughs> then I get back to my capital. Dope lyric. I got the Glock on my passenger. Ooh. I got these tropical Ooh. fantasies. They gonna remember my legacy. Ooh. And on Hang that out note, the roof no, of no, the no, ghost. No, no, the cash in my pocket spill right on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cash in my pocket spill out in the floor. Spill out in the floor. Hold up. When the cash overflow, let the cash overflow. No. I done fucked a bitch that... What's that word? Boogie? <laughs> Bougie? Okay. Oh, okay. I done fucked a, a bitch that hoe. bougie... Yeah. Have you ever, ever fucked a bitch that... Bougie? <laughs> Whoa. No. Oh. No, future. Yeah, yeah. I have not. I have not, future. Hold on. Bougie I'm not done. I'm not done. Bougie bitches. Hold on. Hold on. I done fucked a bitch that bougie. Okay. I done, I done, I done fucked a bitch that bougie. Whoa, oh. Hey. I done fucked a bitch conceited. I done fucked a few, few bitches conceited. We just gonna say we did it. We just gonna say we did it. Exo future. And then that's, hold on. I keep that trigger beside me. Keep that trigger. I know, like you know, you just another body. All and I know, all I know, all I know. Here we go. Titties, here we go. Have you, have you fucked a bitch this pretty? Hit her on the first night and went and bought titties. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah there is yeah. that. Have you? That one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just a little snippet. Uh, uh, dude. Uh, and, guys, that was a dramatic reading by your boy, Nathan Howler. <laughs> Whoa, this, oh, yeah, yeah. You look like a sort of rapper. Money you were like, spill you're like out this. on the floor. My, I got yeah. confused. It, I was like, spell out in, in the, the floor. floor. <laughs> whoa, oh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Gabe, how about you? Like, you got any uh, albums you want to shout out before we wrap uh, dude, this just shit Star up? Starboy, dude. Yeah, Starboy. So God good, dang, it's totally <laughs> so Starboy is for everybody. Yeah, shout out? even even all of Greg's friends are like, this is the best pop record I've heard in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, I literally put up everybody yeah. I work on Starboy. Hey, Bro, I've been, I've been put everybody on Yo, Starboy. My annoying ass neighbors from upstairs were listening to the Starboy. Starboy. Yeah. Starboy. I was shit. like, what are these bitch asses doing? And I listened for a second. I was like, ah, uh, they listen to the sidewalks. You know that why? Because say sidewalk saved my life. Sidewalk Ken- saved my life. Shout out, shout out, King oh. Kenny. Yo, Kendrick, that talk about say, 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 say. Okay, but say. <laughs> okay, but even if you like that future feature, compare it to Kendrick. I mean, it's, that that dude, they're a whole other level. So. Yeah, no, yeah tell me why. Things, though. You Every can't compare future but the to quality. Kendrick. Quality content. It's a different type of rap. Yeah. One's trap, one's actual rapping. Right. Oh, yeah. Do one's you, actual rap. Yeah, how many, <laughs> <laughs> how many <laughs> albums did Kendrick jump <laughs> on this year? Dude, I feel like I've been hearing Kendrick almost every fucking Bro, he jumped right on now. Mac Miller's album, which was also one of the dopest songs on Mac Miller's album. Um, God is good, sexy, nasty. And then uh, he jumped on. Uh, it's appropriate to the record. <laughs> yeah. Albeit it's a dumb funny. title. <laughs> it's just a funny. It's just a funny name. Yeah. Um, he also jumped on Travis Scott's thing with Goosebumps, which is one of the dopest songs Travi. on there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out Travis one time. Also, we found Travis. Travis Scott is in uh, Mania on the weekend. 
doesn't I don't think he did we looked it up literally did nothing on no Starbucks. production or anything literally it's like two seconds you see Travis Scott in a in, in the, the club, club yeah uh, on a mania for the weekend and like Q was we were watching it with Q and like Q sees like the, the hair the, he's, and he's like is that Travis Scott and I was like I don't think Travis is in this and he's like no no, no hold up bring it back and then we 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 watch it again. I was like, "Yo, I think that is Travis Scott." <laughs> and then I was like, "Wait, wait, wait, hold on, hold on." And he gets the controller and he finds like a better shot. And we pause and we're like, "That's fucking Travis <laughs> Scott." What the fuck? You can tell him from anywhere because his the way he does his braids is just weird. Yeah, it's completely yeah. It's Travis Scott. Yeah, um, but no, he was on Travis Scott's album, dude. Uh, who else did he? We already said Weekend. Who else did he jump on their album for? The King, King Kenny's on every album now. Yo, oh, Isaiah man. Rashad's album, he jumped on there. Still one of the dopest songs on the album, too. He was on Life of Pablo. Yeah, he was on, he jumped on, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no More Parties in L.A. You had about that. Literally, I would say the best song on that album. Uh, Yo, he literally, like, whatever he features on, he's killing he does it. better than the person he's doing the feature for. Yeah. Like, Sidewalks is a really good weekend song, but that's a better Kendrick song. You know what I can't wait to see? Because I know there'll be another feature on there is on, what is it called? The Marshall Mathers LP. I was about to say, he's kind of like Eminem with features. No, yeah, that's what I was going to say. And he's also, too, Kendrick Kendrick feature on Eminem's song was the only time where I'm like, damn, no, no, he, he didn't beat Eminem. Like, Eminem and him are either on the same level or Eminem's was a little bit better. But I, but that was before he made September Butterfly and before yeah. Untitled Unmastered. I would love to see him do a feature with Eminem now and see if he just, just lights Eminem up. But it's like that question of, like, Eminem's not in his prime anymore. Some would usually, no, most, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, easily, would, some easily. most people would say. So it's just like, no, yeah, that's you know, true. How do you compare it? It's kind of hard to compare that. Like you have to get both of them in their heyday. See, it's like is why, LeBron I mean, better than Michael? You're like, I mean, you're, guys, we're never gonna figure guys, out. We got Shia LaBeouf coming in the game right now. Hey. Oh, is he rapping now? Oh, yeah. But he, he can't come up to a what, hood, what hoods in Atlanta? Uh, the according, according to few, uh, Soldier Boy. Oh, Zone 6? I don't know. Oh, you didn't hear about this? No, I didn't hear about Soulja this. Soulja Boy said Shia LaBeouf cannot come to any hoods in Atlanta. Oh, damn. See, at didn't... all. What, College Park? He's not there? allowed at any hoods. Why? Why is he not damn. allowed? Uh, they're beefing. I don't know why. Dude. Soulja Boy's beefing everybody. Now the Migos, too. Well, you know what? No one damn. likes Soulja Boy. Yeah. When the fuck did we hear anything from Soulja Boy? <laughs> I, I don't like when MTV Cribs was though. still a thing? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Soulja Boy. What, what does Shia do to him, though? Damn. They, they say the N-word accidentally? But like, no. why did? No. But it shows you how irrelevant Soldier Boy is. Yeah, that no. he has to go out and go fuck you, Shia LaBeouf. Someone that's not even in the game. Yeah. Cause guess what? He ain't in the game either. So shut the fuck up. You guys hear that? Shia I'm in the game, motherfucker. Shia I'm in the, in the game, game. Soldier Boy. Come up here. I work Bro, that ass. Not watch really Shia LaBeouf be the coldest motherfucker out right now. Like when he comes. Oh, home. hey! After we used to watch He's these like trailers, the I gotta show you something. He actually, okay. <laughs> did you watch like a, a freestyle he did? Yeah, it was like Bro. when he was at a movie. But I didn't watch him freestyle, but I watched him. I watched his diss track of uh, a radio host, and the radio host comes back at him, and the radio host is better than him at rapping. Uh, yeah, like he has zero <laughs> flow, but yeah. he can come up with no, like, no, yeah. really, really That's what I will say. His things. rhymes are n- honestly yeah, not bad. They're pretty at all. good. Okay, Chill. it's just his flow. His flow is yeah. god awful. I gotta see this. Okay. But um, the voice he uses. Yeah, he so can nice. hone that. He could. He could. He could be the next. I'd say it's dicky. easier to hone flow than it is to. Actually, be someone who can make smart. See, but this was uh, as long as he's not rhyming. Yeah, uh, like, the outro? All them double yeah, and contras. Yeah, just shout out YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, money and then money. yeah, I'll, I'll pass it off to you. I will remember. Damn. He, he ain't on Future's level of uh, complexity. <laughs> and on Future, I'm ending this podcast. It's been your boy, Dreamcatcher, with me, Nasty Nathan. It was nice talking to you guys for almost two hours. Woo! Gnarly Greg. It's been a great year. Hey, let's it's stay naughty, boys. boys. Year. And and low L. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? I just like to uh, plug. What is it? Uh, uh YouTube. Y- yeah, you can Instagram. find us on YouTube slash Nerd Outlet, on Instagram at Nerd Outlet, on Twitter at Nerd Outlet, on Facebook slash Nerd Outlet, all that stuff. And uh, thanks again, guys, for listening to this podcast hosted by Nerd Outlet. It's been your boy Dreamcatcher, and we'll see you on the flip side, bitches. Or on the crypt side.